Hello and welcome to the Killer Radio Show. You're listening on RiverWestRadio.com. I'm Ryan Mason. I'm Jason Hillman. I'm Eric Thorson. Yeah, and I couldn't figure out the music, so that's yeah. cool too. We all got cans it's on okay. though. Okay, we're music to everyone who's listening. To yeah, this. yeah. I'll what try and that figure that out a little bit later. I'm not really sure what was happening, but yeah. um, we've got some we got some artists coming in today to actually talk to us. So that'll be exciting enough, and maybe maybe they'll just sing a cappella. I don't yeah. really know. They're both singers too coming in today. Exciting. Go ahead and eat. Just eat. Don't talk. Or uh, you know that should be good. So it is good. Uh, we should be ready Delicious to go. Chips from next I didn't door know Chris Barnes could sing. Yeah, Chris Barnes coming in today. We <laughs> should say uh, members of the Blue Ribbon Band will also be in uh, for an interview today. But that's all well and good. But how was your guys' this week? Pretty good. Pretty good so far. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's only Tuesday. Yeah, we well, I mean, since last week, I mean, <laughs> I assume people are charting their weeks by when the Killer Radio Show happens and yeah. then when the next one happens, right? <laughs> That's a fair point. I, uh... That and Bunheads. <laughs> what is Bunheads? <laughs> My new favorite show. <laughs> talk, talk to me about it. Tell me about it. Uh, Bunheads is a new show on ABC Family by Amy Sher- Sherman Palladino, who made Gilmore Girls. So there's a there's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> and it's called Bunheads, so I've been watching it. It's it's pretty much it's for young girls and uh, lonely <laughs> late twenties women. So you know, I've been watching it with my girlfriend. It's been pretty good. I'm really glad that you give us an itinerary because for the most part, I forget what I've done during the week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you, yeah, you can't see it on the cameras, but every week I type something up that goes, Jason, this is what you did last week. <laughs> <laughs> and Jason looks at it and goes, oh, yeah, hmm, okay. Everyone pretends it's just what we're going to talk about. It's really just to catch me up to speed on me. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so I've been watching a lot of Bond heads. Uh, Alan Ruck is in it. I don't know what that means. Alan Ruck is Cameron from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh. That's Cameron, Alan Ruck. And he, spoiler alert, he dies in like the second episode. <laughs> why would you burn Alan Ruck that quick? If you've got Ruck on board, why are you burning him? That's a very good question. Who else is in there? Like, what? Who could they possibly replace him with? Explain what it. I don't even know what it is. You say bunheads. I don't even know what that like, is. Like, I'm imagining bunheads. workaholics it's, now. It's with pronounced bunheads. There's bunheads. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is really. It's it's like a small town uh, uh, family show where this woman goes through some trials and tribulations, and because it's Amy, Sher- Amy Sherman Palladino, they talk really fast. It's great. It's like is it's like a- Aaron Sorkin light is what it is. That's what Amy Sherman Palladino is. Aaron Sorkin's also got a new show on called The Newsroom, which I watched yeah. the first ten minutes of, and Bill Pullman's amazing. Are you railroading this bunheads? Discussion. I was just no. I'm just. You said Aaron Not Sorkin. I subject. had a bit of a fanboy. How moment. dare you? First of all, I'm sorry. Yeah, I. What, the reviews. No, cool. We can let's get back to it. The let's reviews for that newsroom show. That talking about the reviews for that newsroom show were scathing. They uh, came back. People hated it. Uh, yeah, I've been hearing a lot of people. Uh, c- uh, this isn't sports night. You're right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like network meets sports night. Yeah, I would imagine. What it is. Um, and it's just full of that kind of like off the cuff, really quick uh, conversations that Aaron Sorkin's known for. Um, I think people are just upset when they have to face the truth again. Like his last contribution to the world was the social <laughs> network uh, and what was that? Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip. Right. And when he gets too preachy, people start getting <laughs> angry at him. So this movie's all. But preach. you're taking it from the perspective that he's right. Yes. <clears throat> You get a lot of trust in Aaron Sorkin. I think because I don't believe that Sports Night was a legitimate commentary <laughs> on the uh, sportscaster experience. But of course, you, you produce a show like that so you can give yourself a springboard into that arena where you can speak truth and get paid for. Except it. for and Mike Tirico. I don't know what that means either. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that it was, it, you know, it at least was a platform to play in. Like, you know? look at the West Wing. I mean, that was. Uh, look at it. Look at it. Just, yes, look at it. It's look beautiful. And stare at it. Yeah. <laughs> I, lo- I love the West Wing. I was yeah. a big fan. Um, wow, that's funny. They are kind of similar. Maybe that's just what she did. She just kind of ripped off his style and is now doing it for, uh, you know, teenage girls. Yeah. I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. Teenage girls? Yeah, so tune yeah. in, ABC Family, Bondheads. <laughs> Alan Ruck I'm dies. sorry, you're actually into a show on ABC Family. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Back to that. What else finally, do you watch on right? ABC Finally? Uh, ABC Finally. What else do you watch on ABC Family? I, I wish I could pull something right now, but I literally do not know any other shows on ABC Family. Oh. <laughs> this is a perfect opportunity to, to mention our Twitter. Uh... <laughs> 
tweet at Cast of Killers, hashtag Killer Radio, if you know another show on ABC Family other than Bunheads. <laughs> and if you got any Bunheads uh, stuff you want to tweet in. How did you find yourself <laughs> falling into the, the, the ABC Family pit? Because I knew that it was from the maker of Gilmore Girls, and I watched Gilmore Girls. Which was also like Aaron Sorkin Light. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I'm totally, com I'm like ultra comfortable talking about Gilmore Girls, like yeah. that I watched it. Like yeah. I have no problem. Do you have shows like that where it's like you have no re like Buffy the Vampire Slayer was one where people were just like, yeah, I watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer, not a big deal. Because we're in an honest oh, place. Because we're in a, we're amongst friends. And I can <laughs> see, <laughs> see breeze off mic yelling that that was a good show. <laughs> oh really? What was your favorite episode? The musical episode. <laughs> <laughs> the black and white episode. <laughs> There's nothing more manly about Buffy the Vampire Slayer than Bunheads. Did I mention Alan Ruck was on it? <laughs> so, in your face. <laughs> did you did you stay on board for Angel, Steve? You didn't stay on board for Angel. That's too bad. No, what's what was like what's like your guilty pleasure so, show that like you're not ashamed of? I guess it's like well, sort I'm of not ashamed of it, but we're in a we're in a circle of trust here. So, um I used to work third shift at a, a pet food factory, Nestle Purina, when I lived in Iowa. Oh, my God. And I would get off at, like, 6 o'clock in the morning, and I would get home. Fort Dodge? What? Fort Dodge, Iowa? No, Clinton, Iowa. Oh, Clinton. Okay. I know there's a pet food one in Fort Dodge. It smells terrible. It's Go an on. absolutely wretched, wretched scent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With. Well, um, they're melting all the horses down. Yeah. Um, that was the best part. Yeah. yeah. We all, like, tried to beg our lead to let us do that. Anyway. So I would get home at 6, and then I would get home, and I would eat a bowl of cereal, and I would go to bed most of the time. But um, one time, I stayed up, and was just milling about, and I turned on the TV. I turned on TNT, not T TBS, and Dawson's Creek is on, and it's like the first episode. Oh, no. And I'm like, all right, well, I I'll just watch this. People have been talking about this for a little while. I'll just watch it. And then I fucking get into it. <laughs> smash smash cut like to 10 hours years. later. <laughs> Two years. Two years I worked that shift, and I got two seasons worth of Dawson's Creek in sequential order. And wow. It got to a point where, like... That's solid, though. At least you had something to watch. After... Uh, and remember when Pacey has sex with his teacher? That's right at the beginning, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I've never heard of it. That's <laughs> lame. Lame. Um, but, it was, like, people... I would work with a guy who would invite me over to his house to, like, you know, uh, participate in post-work activities. Um, elicits. And I would... I would go over there and he'd get mad at me because he's like, why do you always take off? Why don't you hang out? I'd just be like, oh, because I'm tired. Not, oh, I got to figure out what happened between uh, Pacey and Dawson. <laughs> sure, yeah. I have to see what, American, what a new American Eagle shirt they're wearing today. But did you feel like you were getting in touch with like the youth movement from like 10 years before no, the actually, show was on? I, I was, yeah, I was infuriated actually with the show on a regular basis because um, it was written better than it was. Um, it has too much ridiculous dialogue, oh, and oh, nobody oh, talks like lost, that. I don't even know audio. if we're still on. Just Are we still on? Audio, yeah. Did we? Yep. Oh, I just unplugged the headphones. It's okay. Now. So we're still on? Yeah. All right. All right. It was ridiculously written. It was okay. these people uh, talked weird. like no one would ever talk at that age. <laughs> they were far too eloquent and far too self-aware. Um, it was amusing. So. Sure. <laughs> what about you, Eric? What's your guilty pleasure? I don't know why I'm wearing <laughs> um, the headphones. We were uh, we were just watching at my house. Um, Excuse? Do you ever see Excuse? That oh, the dating show? It's just so terrible, but it's just like at the same time like just nice. entertaining and just like a sh really ridiculously shallow level. It's like an MTV show where it's just like it's really bad, but it's you know it's on at four o'clock when I get off of work, so that's what I watch when I go to work. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Excused? Excused. Yeah. I don't think I'm familiar with that. It's a really terrible public access dating show. It just sucks. But the the host won uh, Last Comic Standing, and she's, like, kind of funny. It's, like, fun to watch, you know? Fascinating. You fascinate me. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, Bunheads, check it out on ABC. <laughs> um, Dawson's Creek, now on DVD. Yeah, speaking of uh, small-town America with between Dawson's Creek and uh, Paradise, is Paradise, California is where Bunheads takes place. We were in small-town... Are you kidding me? Yeah, yep. I'm not kidding you. Uh, we were in small town America this weekend. We were in uh, Kenosha, home of uh, Sarah, who makes us cookies from time to time and is nice enough to recap a lot of the shows that we do here on the radio. Yeah. Um, we were in Kenosha, which I, you know, I hate to say this, but I'll be honest, my perspective of Kenosha is like really negative. 
Because, like, first of all, it's got that big White Castle sign when you drive <laughs> up from Illinois. It's like, we've got a White Castle. You know, like, no town really wants to claim that. You know, like, that's our claim to fame is, is that. Fine dining in Kenosha. But, um, yeah, and the other thing is with Kenosha is that <laughs> it seems like Kenosha always gets hurt, hit with the worst weather. Like, whenever there's, like, a massive storm, yeah. Kenosha, like, just gets armpitted with it. And, like, it's always brutal hot and, like, humid. It's just in that... It's in the spot. It's in, like, the, the that's, crotch of Wisconsin. That's what they get for being racist. Yeah, I guess so. Um, but we did, a, we did a charity benefit for uh, Jana's Journey, which is uh, in support of the American Cancer Society. Um, we did a charity, be charity benefit where we got to golf. We yeah. donated our time. We yeah. donated our time. There's a sweet sign on my Facebook uh, of uh, entertainment donated by the cast of Killers, which I thought was super cool. Yeah. Um, but we got to play golf all day on Friday instead of working, which ruled. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Eric was real sick, though. Yeah, I'm super <clears throat> sick. He was super sick. <laughs> with cancer. Yeah. Golfitis. Golfitis, <laughs> yeah. So we got to play golf, and then we uh, did a show uh, that evening for all the people that came and, and spent some money to support the American Cancer Society in memoriam yeah. of this woman who passed away, which was awesome. It was just like yeah. a really fun thing to it, do. Everybody was super cool. It was such a fun time. Yeah, we got, I got a cheeseburger immediately when I got there. I was like, this is going to be a great day. I was like, oh, I haven't eaten anything. And the guy knew we were comics, like, immediately. Yeah. Tell that story. <laughs> We just got there and we were like looking for Jason, didn't know where to go, just in the parking lot. And then uh, the guy who ran it just was like, hey, you guys, the comics, just pointed us out. So he was like, <laughs> yeah. also be wandering around in a parking lot looking what to do at a country club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like wearing t shirts. Yeah. yeah. I think that was the other giveaway. Yeah. Not, not plaid shorts. <laughs> but we played some golf. We played uh, bunches of golf. Yeah. <laughs> we played, I'll tell you what, we played more golf than anybody on that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Thorson. Not good at golf. Not, not I, I'm, good. I'm not the worst. I'll give me that. I'm not the worst. He is in my top three worst golf <laughs> not players worst, I've though. ever played with. Not no, top, no. Not the worst. But in his defense, when it matters the most yeah. is when he came through. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll set this up, and then but you, he, but he you can drive it home. He, he kind of white men can't jump his way out of that <laughs> yes later on he's you know he's been white man can't jumping out of things constantly <laughs> but eric so eric's terrible at golf and he like i'll just uh, to describe it eric and i know we're telling golf stories so if you're not a white person in their 40s i apologize <laughs> but eric when he golfs he Jumps. First of all, he's 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 wearing Chuck Taylors, basically. <laughs> um, they're PF Flyers. Okay, they're he's wearing PF Flyers. Set the, record, set the record straight. He's wearing PF Flyers. Tees his golf ball up, and when he swings, he jumps. He like <laughs> jump. Both feet leave the ground, and then the ball goes like basically 45 degrees to his right. You know, every time, every time. And then and then he turns around and goes, "Did you see where that one went?" <laughs> every time, every time. And so this had been happening all day, and Jason hits a drive, and, and uh, Eric hits about four shots to get up there, <laughs> and then their balls are, like, right next to each other. Their balls are almost touching. Uh, almost. And they're standing there, and I, I demand that they gamble on the next shot, who is ever closest to the pin. You for know, some reason, we listen to Ryan Mason. Yeah. If he's a fount of knowledge. If, if I know anything, will. though, Jason, it's when to gamble. Yeah. <laughs> Fair point, sir. So the two balls are sitting there. They're about, I would say they're about 60 yards from the green, maybe maybe 70, but you know, Eric's probably holding a, like a three iron, and Jason's just looking at his ball, confused. And they decide it was closest the to the pin. So Eric gets up and he hits a shot like, you know, five feet from the cup. Yeah. <laughs> like, did we mention that we put money on that? Yes, oh, they I put know. money on yeah. it. You know, Jason's probably licking his chops. Yeah. You know, Easy what was going through your head when, when, when Eric stood behind the ball ready to, to thwack it onto the green? Well, you suggested we bet, and I'm not going to, I'll be really honest with you. I was like, shh. I got this. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, easy money, dog. dog. Yeah. Easy money. Uh, actually, dog with D A W G yes. is what popped into my head in, as, in a speech bubble. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I was like, all right, I got this. I get out. I think I got out a four iron. And I, and he's, he's, they were 50 uh, yards out. <laughs> 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 then I got out my five wood. And, uh, <laughs> he, he awkwardly, like, shambled up to the ball. 
and set it up in that weird Michael J. Fox now oh, yeah, way definitely. that he does. And he then, jump kicked, yeah. and then he hit the ball. He did that. He, he swung back, did that Van Damme spin kick that he insists on we doing say, every movie. Eric doesn't bring the club behind his head like a normal person. He like brings it sideways to like about his like hip, and then like swings really hard from there. And then he he, he, he swings back and he, he hits the ball, and I can I can literally and hear, it sounded great. I can yeah I can hear oh as Angels picked it up and flew it over to the green and dropped it. Just elegantly, like as, as if it, it, two little, two little hops, two little perfect yeah. hops, and, just, and it just lands. Doesn't roll anywhere. It just lands, and I go, fudge. <laughs> so I, I line up, and I'm like, all right, I got this. I can do this. I can do this. And I, um, my ball sounds terrible. Chunk of glass, chunk of grass, and chunk it flops. Of glass. Chunk of glass. <laughs> chunk of glass. I was in a sandpit. And um, night of glass. <laughs> night of broken glass. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Holocaust reference one. Note it. And, um... <laughs> sorry, it the... sounded like crystal knocked when you hit it. <laughs> right? <laughs> sorry, I laugh every time I hear Holocaust. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, and mine just flies over into a tree off to the left somewhere. It doesn't even get close to the green. And I, like, throw my, my club in the air, and I look at him, and before I can say it, Ryan jumps in and goes, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> And that was that. And then later on, Eric, why don't you tell them about how you didn't get paid? <laughs> yeah, and then I was like, oh, double or nothing that uh, I make this putt. And it was like a really long putt. And, yeah, you got greedy. I, did, I didn't I back did. that one. Yeah. I didn't green light that. Speaking of, you owe me money. I'm supposed to remind you for a show. On air, on getting air. paid. Oh, a penny just fell, so that's, yeah. part, of it. that's part of it. <laughs> I'm throwing pennies at you. There you go. Yeah, I passed the money. <laughs> right on. Getting paid. That's that. Damon and I were joking the other day. We were at Karma, and he's like, "Oh, I owe you for Green Bay." And I was like, "Oh, this is how I like to get paid." Uh, two weeks later, when I'm at a bar, <laughs> <laughs> which is like I was joking, but then like then again, like if you did something, and then two weeks later you had a, were at a bar and you were broke, and somebody's like, "Oh, I owe you forty bucks," I'd be like, "Oh, let yeah, me let's do that. This let's, is great." Let me pour it in my gullet. Yeah, yeah. I was like, "Well, this, this money won't see the light of day." <laughs> That's great. Oh, man. Yeah, that was at Karma uh, last week, probably the day after the show. Wednesday is at Karma. There's an open mic that's really great. It's one of the best ones in the city, and they've got some showcases coming up, too. We'll tell you more about those later. Uh, but you can always go to cokcomedy.com to find out more about any of that always stuff. Always a fantastic time, that place is. It yeah, always Karma. turns into something special. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just as a reminder, I know I didn't cover it uh, to a great extent at the beginning of the show, but we've got the Blue Ribbon Band, Blue Ribbon Band coming in later. Um, the two lead singers, which is great. Um, they're not actually going to play, so hopefully we'll be able to play some music of them. Uh, my, my iPod's dead, so we're going to find a way to do it. And uh, we've also got Chris Barnes coming in, who's a touring comedian yeah. from Milwaukee who is super funny so I'm really excited to talk to anybody who actually is successful at this yeah. job he's doing it forever too right I yeah I don't know how long yeah Jason's eating at, a sandwich Jason but he's <laughs> yeah 35. plus uh, this is great like we got the camera going years. tonight and uh, like it's just on Jason eating which is <laughs> just solid um, so we did we got free food at, at the charity event the meatballs are mm -hmm. awesome that is like a total you know Comedians are idiots for food. Yeah. Like they're idiots for food. Like if if somebody was like, "Oh, we got this show. It's uh, it's in on Alaska, Western Wisconsin, and nobody's gonna be there, but uh, it's free. It's free taco night." I'd be like, "Well, yeah. What time do you need me there?" Are they coated in flaming hot Cheetos because I'm there. Yeah. I don't think I would ever turn down a show that had free food at it. Yeah. Would you? No. Uh, actually, uh, Daryl Hill. Used Steve to wouldn't. <laughs> Daryl Hill used to put on shows where he offered like the had like pulled pork Ooh, and stuff oh. like that at his shows. Oh. And it didn't matter who was in it. <laughs> yeah, that noise. It was good. It was delicious. <laughs> that no, sounds that really case, awesome. That benefit was was very interesting because the crowd was kind of like middle aged and rowdy, except for like the the baby and the little kid who looked like uh, the kid from Mac and Me. Yeah, the kid with the ears. Yeah, and he was driving around. Um, 
desperately begging us to get 50-50s. Oh yeah, we should say we should say that too. That that kid who was in this room of you know, it's mostly adults like people in their I would say like late 20s to, you know, in their 50s. Yeah. And you know, they're all there having a good time. Really good crowd. I I mean, quite honestly for having a full day of golf and sitting through a meal and a raffle like present, you know, aware, having a good time and you know, there's this little kid. It was the first show I've ever been at that I earmuffed a kid. Oh. I was like, hey, uh, kid's mom, earmuff him because I'm going to tell a terrible joke right now. Well, that, was, that was an interesting thing because you've, and it worked. you got yeah. to interact with him by saying that. Like, okay, guys, I have this last dirty joke. Earmuff him. <laughs> yeah, and, and it totally worked. Do you think that little kid went home and was like, mom, what did they say? Yeah. And then she had to like somehow try and mask that joke because there's no way to mask those jokes no. the you joke's really about hard, so tell me what it was yeah he the joke's so, about he was talking about stingrays honey he's yeah. talking about stingrays <laughs> it's my joke about i don't know meat tenderizer something something in, um, in your mouth yeah <laughs> dot, dot, dot. your father's something is very soft yes yeah, something something uh that was it he had you had to cover his ears what i forgot about was this kid this like 11 year old kid at the oh yeah zach zach yeah, yeah. he um he uh, talked to me at the beginning. He was awesome. Like, he's like, yeah, you, so are you the cool. comic? And like, yeah. He's like, I like some comedy. I like Gabriel Iglesias. He's really funny. And he came up to us after the show and was like, oh, my God, I'm a fan. Yeah. And like was following yeah. us around. Yeah, it was so our cute. Picture. And he then told us some jokes. He followed us out to the parking lot to tell us <laughs> filthy jokes. That was awesome. Yeah. And he told us, this is like, this is really the most validating thing in my week, uh, was that we were the first live stand up yeah. ever yep. seen yep. in his life. Uh-huh. I wrote that down. I was like, that that felt great, you know. He he ran up to us to say, I just want you guys to know that you were the first uh, live comedians I've ever seen. And I was like, that's awesome. He's gonna grow and then I to shouted my name in my Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> you did. On you instinct. Were like, yeah. You instinct. were like wondering, like looking for validation. Like, I hope he follows me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He I said he didn't have Twitter. <laughs> He was a he was a cute kid he's though. He's gonna grow up to oh, disappoint yeah. his parents. Oh, I can't be wait! All yeah, our fault. It's gonna be great. Well, his dad's a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, right, I remember he told he's us. He's a playlist. He play. That's a guy that hits play on a playlist. No, he was cool though. Yeah. He was playing some Stone Cold jams. He told us a joke, and like Ryan was like already critiquing, like way too much setup, Zach. We'll come to the punchline. Come on, you're only twelve, but oh uh, no, the dad was cool. The dad was telling me some jokes and having a good time. And what do you what do you say with the fitness thing? With the- I don't even. Uh, yeah, well, I was joking that nobody put their name in the hat for the I was the fitness only one, raffle. I, think. I was the only one. Yeah. But it was a good time, and you know anybody out there, if you want to donate to them, I believe it's called Jana's Journey. But most of their uh, charitable donations go to either setting up the events, you know, for the next year. But all the all the proceeds go to uh, the American Cancer Society. So get in touch with that. If you if you don't if you can't find that, uh, I always press uh, Choose Hope. Uh, Inc. is a charity that's run by uh, one of my friend's moms, which is a really good one. They make all the Cancer Sucks t-shirts, oh, if you've ever seen those, which are really cool. So uh, go out and do that. It feels it felt good. To, like, it was funny to do comedy to a room of people, you know, that maybe weren't expecting it. But also to think that, like, we donated. It was somehow we donated jokes to the American Cancer yeah. Society in a roundabout way. The cast of Killers are Milwaukee's leading charitable organization. Yeah. Just like, like- I and I'm not saying that we brought anybody there, but but like I think that maybe the people had a better time we with us the being there. Of Milwaukee, yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, not to keep and up. some terrible golf swings is what we also brought. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, the raffle. We should talk about the raffle. Oh, yeah, yeah. I am now the proud owner of a toaster. Yeah. <laughs> that is right. I guess you toasted bread today. Me. That's who. <laughs> I am now the proud owner of a bunch of useless tickets. Uh-huh. Yeah, you didn't win. I felt like everybody won, including me, who took home a toaster. That guy behind us won twice. Yeah. Yeah. His name was like Jerry Orr or something like that. <laughs> I remember. Because he kept winning. And they kept saying his name. <laughs> you know when you're at a raffle and like one guy wins twice? Like immediately everybody hates him. <laughs> and then like the guy is just like, oh, I guess I won, right? And then everybody scowls at him the whole time. I thought that was pretty funny. Like the guy didn't do anything but like maybe buy more tickets than everybody else. But it goes to cancer research. So like you can't really fault him. But everybody hated him. They were like, oh, this guy. It was. I thought that was pretty funny. Uh... But yeah, you guys are bad at golf, and I'm slightly better than you. That was slightly, all. Slightly, I don't know. 
Slightly. I, I had a couple of snowmans. Uh, yeah, you cracked really 100. Yeah, I definitely cracked 100. I'd say I cracked oh. like 110 even. Let's talk about how we were rewarded. Um, yeah, the trophies. Oh, yeah. There was a trophy uh, of, uh, at the big uh, trophies given away after the raffle, and one of them was for the people that brought up the back of the pack, and that was Ryan, Eric, and myself, and we got a bunch of gold horses' asses. Yep, that's what we won. Bringing up the rear. Yep. Yeah, I've been called a horse's ass before. I've never got a trophy for it. Well, it's funny because every other team had four people on it. So I was like, <laughs> I, I was like, are they not going from combined score? And then I was like, oh, wait, are they going from combined score? <laughs> yeah. There was only three of us. <laughs> so they, when they announced it, they are like, all three of them cracked 100, which I think was a lie because I didn't get to count mine, but I don't think I cracked 100. I had 47 on the back nine, but I imagine I was better on the front. I don't know, though. Who knows? Yeah, my score was pretty liberal too. Like, I hit a. Oh, it was very liberal. Yeah, I would hit one like into the trees, and I just. Like, you didn't count any of your drops. It was almost socialist. No. <laughs> yeah. I didn't count any of my drops or any of that. No. Eric's golf scoring is so liberal. <laughs> How liberal is it? How liberal is it? Eric's golf scoring is so liberal. How liberal is it? That even his golf score's children get to remain in America. <laughs> right? No? <laughs> yeah, that was it was a lot of fun though. And uh, if you haven't played golf before, I would highly recommend playing golf. It's a lot should, of we fun. We should do it again. With I mean, a lot of fun. With Eric. And gamble. When you're out on a golf course, yeah, there's a couple definitely. of things you have to do. You have to gamble. Drink. You have to drink alcohol. Yeah. Alcohol. 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 Vodka, if you have it. And I would, uh, you, you need to bring yourself some vodka. And <laughs> I would also vodka. suggest, uh, you know, harassing some of the girls at the golf course. Yeah. That's like part, of, that's what you've paid for. What's up, cart girl? Yeah, the cart girls. She was all business, though. All business. I'm sure she's like, well, the longer time I spend here, um, the higher chance I have of getting <laughs> assaulted. So, <laughs> like, she's just dealing with, you know, entitled 50-year-old white dudes all day who are handing her money. Like, that's just the worst. That's a cocktail for harassment right there. At least all, all she has to hand them is Gatorade. Yeah, right. I mean, I, like, if your daughter ends up being a cart girl, you can kind of put it out of your mind somehow, right? But, like, you know what goes on on a golf course. Yeah. And we should say what goes on on a golf course is nonstop sex. Non mulligans. Non -stop. Lots of mulligans. <laughs> a lot of bogeys. <laughs> a lot of bogeys. Uh, yeah, I felt I feel like I bad for bogey. those for those girls, and like also like they're kind of in that situation that's unfortunate. Mothers don't all let together. your kids grow up to be car girls. <laughs> 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 yeah, if I, if I ever had a daughter and she came home, she's like, "Great news, I got a job." I'd be like, "Oh, that's great." I wish you would have brought home a black boyfriend. <laughs> she, she's like, "I'm gonna be the cart girl at a golf course." I'd be like. You're grounded. <laughs> you are grounded. Why couldn't you just tell us you were gay? I was like, oh, well, uh, you're going to have to wear snow pants every day <laughs> of the summer. Okay, well. We got any tweets, Eric? You know what? Why don't we take a short break and we'll come back and read some of the tweets. Okay. At cast of killers, cast with an E. Mm -hmm. Hashtag killer radio. Send us your tweets. We've got uh, the Blue Ribbon Band coming on later, so send some questions for them. Uh, tell us your favorite song or something. I don't know. And um, your favorite episode, Chris of, Barnes, uh, as well. So let me figure friend. out how to play some music. Uh, yeah, did you get their band camp no. pulled up? No. 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 Okay. Um, how about Nate? Nate O'Cole's band camp. Maybe we got that. One second. Filler. Phil, guys. Phil. Phil. You're doing a great job. Hey, Eric. Hey, how's it going Jason, over there? Jason, how's it going? Pretty, pretty good, good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good to hear from you. I haven't seen you in a while. Been a long time. Been yeah, long it's been time. a really... Uh, how's the itchies? Are they working out? Did they go away? Did you get the yeah, right Yeah, do that. I sent you to that Asian guy down town. Did he get you that ointment? Yeah, super good. holistic. Good. Super holistic. Good. Very nice. Super holistic. <laughs> holistic extreme. Hella holistic. Hella holistic. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sorry, my iPod's not working today, or else we'd be blasting some of our regular tunes. Is it Steve Showtime? It's almost Steve Showtime. Almost Steve Showtime. You pulling Are you guys up ready something? for the Steve Show? And this is if these, this even works. Promises if, to be if, if audio for the music doesn't work, you're going to get a whole lot of Steve Show this week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if this works. Come on out to the Steve Show. Okay, what is this song? Oh, this is their... know. Oh, okay, Come cool. I think I got this figured out then. This song's called days. Never Coming Back. Oh, oh. <laughs> Will it work? He wears a winter cap even though it's hot. 
Where's all the things that you haven't got? Where's his belt? Just gonna Weirdly s- sideways. <laughs> He's Steve Breeze. Except for today. <laughs> He's not it's wearing... It's got a hole. It's got a hole. This is not working. Please Look work. at his ironic t-shirt. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> He's staring at me, and I'm gonna get hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna be hurt. No, no. There we go. All right, I figured it out. All right, and we got levels. So this is the Blue Ribbon Band. Uh, never coming back. You can check this out on YouTube. We're back on the Killer Radio Show. This is Steve Breeze. We're going to kill some time with me. Um, nothing really happening in my life. I went on a date. That was fun. Um, but now I have to take a break from seeing women, um, you know, because I have really bad luck. And I uh, got one of those sits above my lip that looks like I have herpes. So I got I to gotta stay away for a while until I can pop it. And then, then I can go on dates again and be a normal, a normal awkward guy. Um, yeah. I wish... They'd see me waving, because we're back on the air. Just keep going. Okay. They don't care. Um, I don't never have anything to talk about. Um, let's see. I did a couple shows. I, did, I was in that show in Slinger. Uh, that, was, that was a horrible show. Um, there was uh, nobody paying attention at all. And uh, at least the, 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 the microphone was wireless, so then I, then I could walk over and annoy them with my, with my humor that they, didn't, they still didn't find really... Uh, funny at all um, but they talked to me after the show and said I was good which is weird because they didn't give me any reaction during the show and that's usually when um, you're supposed to laugh at, uh, at a joke yeah I see why the, they, they make me sit on the, on the computer because I'm not a very good radio person at all they're not going to have any I don't even know if we have listeners I'm not going to have any listeners when they come back for sure we're on the air yeah we're on I don't know want to get in here to help me 
No one to talk about. No, no one to talk to. Nothing to talk about. Hurry up. Steve show is bombing like myself on stage. Um, hurry up. The Steve show. Mm, yeah. All right. What happened? You couldn't just play another video? I don't know. I, that thing confuses me. Yes. I don't know how to do oh, it. If I can use it to... You can, <laughs> you can use it to jerk off. Okay, now, Steve. This is a family show. Family show. Welcome back to the Killer Radio Show on RiverWestRadio.com. I'm Ryan Mason. Can you plug that in for me? Merrick Thorson. Thank you. Jason Hillman, yeah. <laughs> you want it, you need it, you have it, it's all up in your face. Sure, yeah. No, Steve, please, just walk right through everything. This is yep. not a problem. Very organized show tonight, very organized show. Steve, you just play another video and then people get to listen to the good music. I don't know how to do that. That's all you have to do. Operating at the peak of efficiency. I don't know how to do that. Ever seen Limitless? That's what we're that's where we're at right now. I don't I don't know if I can plug this in, Steve. I am not gonna fuss with it right now. Okay. Yeah, welcome back to the Killer Radio Show on RiverWestRadio.com. We've got Chris Barnes coming in, the Blue Ribbon Band coming in. Send us your tweets at Cast Killers, hashtag Killer Radio. And yeah, uh, so why don't you read some tweets, Eric? Yeah, all right. And, and you're not going to be prepared for that right now, right? No, not, at all. not at all. Not at all. But uh, yeah, this week's Summerfest, right? That's what I hear. Are you going? Uh, I don't D know. Are you a Summerfest goer? I'm not. No. What about you, Eric? You you're a, you like concerts? Yeah, I'll go. I feel like you know there are people in the city that hate Summerfest, and yeah, for sure. you know that's fine. You know if you don't like the city all clogged up or whatever. But I don't. For my in my opinion. If there's going to be nationally touring acts that are going to be here and it's cheap and it's easy to get into, I'll definitely go. Like, I'll go see it. Whatever. I might not other otherwise get the chance. So I'm definitely going to go. I'm going on Friday. What day are you going? Um, whatever day Iron Maiden is going. I really want to see Iron Maiden. Oh, yeah. Are they playing on a big stage? Or? No, it's on a, one of the free ones. That's I always go with the free ones. I uh, The last Summerfest I, I paid and actually went was on uh, Pearl Jam was there a couple years ago. Oh, okay. BB I saw, Corporation like, BB, I saw BB King on the side stage. That was amazing. Really? Just for general admission, yeah. It's great. Yeah, if you don't know what Summerfest is, it's by the lake here in Milwaukee, and it's this big music festival. There's a huge grounds down there where they have all these stages, and you pay an entry fee of like 15 bucks to get in, and you can see whoever you want. It starts really early in the morning and goes Hansen. all the way through night. Yeah, Hanson. Go Hansen. see Hanson. And then there's one stage that you have to pay to get into that's usually like a really big touring act. The U.S. Yeah. Cellular looks pretty good uh, on the... Fourth. fourth. No, nobody's playing on the fourth. Yeah, I thought the fourth was closed. Uh, seven four. The joy formidable. Oh, huh. Hmm. <laughs> huh. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna go see the Walkman and then Jimmy Cliff maybe, or there was a, somebody else on that day that that looked pretty good too that I thought about checking out. Cake is gonna be on one of those side stages. Yeah. So there's all these big acts that come into town. I just think that it, like. Do you think it's really weird when Summerfest happens and you're like a nationally touring artist and like maybe you're in some band and you're just in a hotel with all those other bands that are totally different? That must be really cool. Like, oh, what's uh, what's oh, this is clearly Jimmy Cliff's dressing room right here. This is clearly his hotel. Room. Um, when I used to deliver pizzas one time, I delivered a pizza and it was like Ziggy Marley. Oh, really? I delivered a pizza to Ziggy Marley's tour bus. Actually. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I really wanted him, wanted him to like invite me in. I'd be like, "What's up, Ziggy Marley? Maybe you know." And he's like, "No, nah, pizza guy." He's like, uh, "Yeah." He's like, "This happens every time we order a pizza." <laughs> Ziggy Marley can't order a pizza. He's <laughs> like, uh, "Do we order a pizza?" Because all these pizza guys want to come in and <laughs> smoke weed. <laughs> I just wanted to party with Ziggy Marley. You know? I guess so. <laughs> they probably are 25 just like five years sober, man. <laughs> Ziggy Marley, sponsored by DiGiorno now. He just doesn't. <laughs> He doesn't want to deal with pizza, guys. Okay, what I was trying to get accomplished with that phone didn't happen. I asked Steve to plug it in. I can read some tweets. Oh, yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, Jorbaz, he tweets in that uh, the Brewers were, were getting no hit, but uh, that's no longer happening. Um, it was about seven innings, and then Tyler Green hit a hit, so the Brewers aren't going to get no hit today. We didn't tip them? I didn't tip them. Aren't going to get no hit today. Good. But, yeah. That's great. But the Brewers have been looking... Pretty anemic, Awful. anemic as far as offense. Like, oh, are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? <laughs> yeah, the Brewers are terrible right now. I don't want to talk about it. They've been awful. Okay, well then I'll read a different tweet. Yeah, read a different tweet. I don't want to talk about the Brewers. Thanks uh, a lot, Jorbaz. <laughs> you said to tweet in any other shows on ABC Family. Yeah. What do you got? Um, 
funniest videos, extreme makeover, and secret life of the American teenagers. Ooh, secret life of the American teenager here Sarah is good. Ricky. Yeah. At Lothorn. La 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 no. Something. At something. Larthon. No. No. What is that, like a Star Wars character? <laughs> Larthon. <laughs> Secret Life of the American King. Oh, wow. I feel like I've watched Just that as lame. through binoculars. <laughs> Just as lame. Yeah, so Summerfest coming up, like, what What do you... I know, like, music's the big draw at Summerfest, but, like, what about the food? Do you guys eat the food when you're there? Or is it just, like, that's just going to put you in a bad way when you're in a big crowd of people? Yeah, I, don't, I stay away from the food. And the beer is so expensive, too. The beer is, like, yeah. so much. It's yeah, so but don't, doesn't everybody don't, bring in alcohol? I don't find any part of any of the festivals to be cost-effective in any way. Yeah. Other than the fact that you could pay a small amount of money to see a lot of different musical acts. Well, I mean, yeah. that in itself is kind of what music festivals are about. Yeah. But like once you get in there, they're just like, <laughs> like, raping you for like a soda, you know? Like, yeah, sure. oh, you want a soda? It's nine fifty, <laughs> and it's gargantuan, so it's hard to hold. So that's you're gonna spill it a lot. Yeah, you're up against all those people. Yeah, I well, you the the weird thing is like you see people there who are like clearly overdid it. Like you 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 get there and you're like, man, these beers are like nine dollars. I don't know if I can afford it. And then you look to your left and there's just like some woman puking on the <laughs> sidewalk. You're like, how did that happen? She must have been out in the sun a lot. She's retired. Yeah. I I like the food. I'm Social I'm in security. on it. Those uh what are they? The eggplant fries. Eggplant. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm in on that. I like to go eat some terrible food and then stand in a crowd of people. I'm fine with that. But when I when I, when I do that, I want to go to like a state fair. I want to go to a county fair and do that. I want to run into like really nasty. Oh, are they letting parties. Jewish people into county fairs? Huh? <laughs> 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 it's a uh, uh, kosher yeah. chocolate bacon. It's uh, uh, <laughs> what is it, Dade County? I'm the right? Jew, and that's all I really got. Dade that's County, really got. Miami. <laughs> <laughs> That's where my dad was born, actually. Oh, oh. <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed. Oh, wait, I just did. Yeah. I just did guess that. How That's very, great. How very predictable. <laughs> so, like, what do you get when you go to, to the fair, though? Corn on the cob? Are you a corn dog man? I'm a, Other uh, corn things? Elephant yeah. ears? What's a... The band yeah, corn. Elephant ears. <laughs> the band corn? I like seeing the band corn at state fairs. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I Who can't, doesn't? I can't wait till we're, like, old enough to all of the bands that we like right now. Like we, corn. Like, we end up going to see at state fairs. Like, I can't wait to see the Deftones or something. I know oh, that's going to happen. That's already fair. happening. Yeah. That is already happening. <laughs> like, the Smashing Pumpkins at this 2025 state fair. <laughs> and it's, like, just Billy Corgan yeah. and, and, like, you know... Six other dudes. Yeah, he, and he does all the stuff off the door. <laughs> <laughs> Man, wow. uh, that's so funny that you mentioned uh, corn, and then I mentioned it six times. My buddy, uh, <laughs> my buddy just was he was at a like a resale shop, and he was he was buying some vinyl, and he bought a uh, corns. Um, what's like a really popular corn album? Follow the leader. Yeah, follow the leader. He bought that on on vinyl. And you lived in Iowa. It's excused. It's fine. You had to listen to that. I was going to say life is peachy, so I'm glad you went first. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so he, he found uh, Follow the Leader on, like, vinyl. <laughs> that, 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 was, that was the music. <laughs> That was the music. Like that's that's what angry kids listen to. The blah, 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 blah. they didn't have to listen to lyrics. That is so funny. <laughs> that was pretty spot on. So he bought he bought uh, Follow the Leader on vinyl, and then he went home and he looked it up, and it's eighty dollars. On eBay. Wow. $80? Yeah, for that on vinyl. That's it? Well, there's like so many. It's such a limited pressing, you know? Like nobody wanted it, and now like corn fans are seeking it. It's funny. Remember Slipknot? Do I? They like, their whole thing was that they were from Iowa, and mm -hmm. like no one ever, like that was their bio. We're from Iowa. They didn't have Obviously, they're Iowa. this angry. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, this is what happens when you live in Iowa. I don't, I could not get behind that. And like, I liked metal. I like metal. Like, I'm fine with metal. New metal was weird. New metal was bad. That's not what it was. It, not all of it. There were like some bands that kind of stood above it, but there was a lot of garbage. Oh, yeah. There's plenty of it. Yeah. Uh, Corn being one of them. I, I see. I still will stand by the fact that like Corn is fun. Like, they're at least yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're silly, bad fun. But they weren't at the beginning. Like, Life is Peachy. Like, all that album was was him screaming about his neighbor raping him. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's is like, that real? Yeah, that's a uh -huh. thing. That's uh -huh. a thing that he talked about a lot. And, like, would cry. You can hear him crying at the end. Like, what the hell? Like, my suburban spoiled ass cannot relate to this. But you know what? I'm going to get holes in my ears. Uh, yes, can I, yeah. Can I that, say, is that why you have earrings? <laughs> or you had earrings? Oh, yeah, I had plugs in my ears. Oh, my gosh. Oh, dude, Thanks, was, Jonathan, was, whatever his name was. I was rad. 
<laughs> and I mean, remember the music video for Freak on a Leash? That was a cool music video. Oh, yeah. The day. Remember? Remember was music kind of... videos? <laughs> yeah. Music. They were great. Remember at 120 minutes? Remember that? 120 <laughs> minutes. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. I can't imagine a kid like. Can you imagine trying to explain corn to like a teenage kid now? <laughs> well, no. We're like, no, the R is backwards, and they spell it with a K. Uh, corn. And recently... that passed for alternative music. Oh, what's alternative music? Um, I don't know. See, we didn't have the internet, so it was pretty much anything that wasn't uh, the theme song Celine to Dion. Friends. Yeah. So. <laughs> Anything outside of the Rembrandts was considered alternative. But it's funny now because Korn still keeps making albums. You don't have to explain to a kid what yeah. the music is now. They just play the same. Now they have a, like a dubstep album. They so do? They don't even, like, they're 55 years old. And Who is the market for that? <laughs> Like mid thirty year old Jason, dudes Jason into Hill. that? Jason no, Hellman. it's those Jason kids. Hellman is the market for that. That's the funniest thing. Like the things we liked when we were teenagers. Now those guys are still trying to appeal to those to our our demographic. They refuse to grow up. Oh yeah. So it's like, oh, sixteen year olds are still buying our stuff. But if we were to actually talk to sixteen year olds now, we'd get arrested. <laughs> Full disclosure, when I was in college, I wore a corn pin, ironically, as a punk rock kid. <laughs> I had a corn button that I would wear on my like shirt when I went to shows. <laughs> I was like, I just want to see if anybody notices that I'm wearing this. It was my little trick to the world. <laughs> Nobody ever did. Or it would be one person who was like, oh, yeah, corn. <laughs> That's how you knew who not to be friends with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, can you imagine though? Like, if you have to sell a corn album on eBay and then somebody actually buys it for eighty dollars, if they email you, you and they're like, "Oh, we're actually in the same city. I'll just come pick it up," you would just be like, "No, absolutely not. Well, actually, in no I do way." Have, I do have a pile of jinkos I can give you as well. So they could play pogs if you want. Yeah. Uh, here's I have a chain wallet you can have. <laughs> I still wear my chain wallet once in a while. It's oh, like, yeah. It's oh, like yeah. down to your knees. <laughs> oh, moseying into the, the, the video store, Lara Bites and uh, the godfather of them all, Damon Millard. The godfather. What? Wearing his Altera coffee shirt because he's in River West. Yeah. So he did that, covered all his bases. Were you guys renting a movie? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, cool. We were just talking about corn. Uh, if you have any stories about uh, the band corn, uh, please tweet at Cast Killers, hashtag Killer Radio, hashtag corn. Hashtag corn. Good luck typing that backwards R. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like nobody is a corn fan. Like, not even them at this point. They're like, you know what song I hate? All of our songs. I hate all of our songs. A fan of money, though. Yeah, oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Uh, speaking of music, I wrote uh, down on our list just as filler, uh, Fleetwood Mac. So Eric says that he doesn't like Fleetwood Mac <laughs> because he's an idiot. <laughs> that's, that's what I said. You said that Fleetwood Mac is, is like the Eagles to you? Yeah. Justify that. How do you, how do you even like, like back that up with anything? Damon, steal his microphone and tell him he's an idiot. You're an idiot, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Peter Green's amazing off stage. Somebody's saying that. Peter Green. Why do you why do you not like Fleetwood Mac? Um, why do you not like the Eagles? <laughs> no, I don't like the Eagles. I yeah, I don't like the Eagles. I uh, can I still say I'm an idiot? Does that still count? Uh, yes, that no, counts. That, still. Okay, yeah, all right. No, defend your position. <laughs> yeah. I want to hear you intelligently yes, defend your please. position. Yes, please. No, no, no. Start with how you don't like all their great music, and then work your way back. Okay. Well, um, I think that. All their music sucks. Okay, noted. Well, why specifically? <laughs> Name me a song that sucks. You know what's great about comics is they're great on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like uh, Hotel California. You know that. Well, song? that's not them. That's the Eagles. Yeah. No, please sing it. Sing it. You want me to sing it? Okay. Here we go. No. No. Okay. I'm no. Now you have to. Anyway. Now you have to. The Hotel California is by the band you're comparing the better band to. Eric, if you're not going to talk into the microphone, we're just going to not acknowledge you. <laughs> just look up tweets, for God's sake. So, any, well, do you like Fleetwood Mac? I do like Fleetwood yeah. Mac. Yeah, see, we're normal human beings. We can appreciate, you know, the healthy tones going into our ears. I, I, I literally, I, I want to know why you don't like Fleetwood Mac with such a passion. 
Yeah. Here, I'm going to queue up Fleetwood Mac on the on the Kindle, and then you're going to explain why you don't like Fleetwood Mac <laughs> over a Fleetwood Mac song. Okay. Tell me more about how you don't like the Beatles, too. Yeah, what, what's the deal? What, did, did somebody just play it too long, or what? Did somebody touch you while you were listening to Fleetwood Mac? Yeah, what was going on? Something like that, yeah. Oh. Oh. Was it Mick Fleetwood? Okay, we opened up a can of thorn worms. <laughs> it was Lindsey Buckingham, actually, is who it was. It's not his fault. So you just don't like them? Yeah, I just don't like them. All right, That's gonna, nothing. Gonna, like, no, you like everything. We're going to leave it at that. <laughs> no, hold on. Let me cue up a Fleetwood Mac this song. It's a talk show now. Yeah, I know. Tell us of your feelings about... And you just talked for like five minutes about corn. Yeah, now you can kind of hear it. No, I'll get it on the Kindle. We'll play it through the head, through the set, eventually here. Oh, we got lights now. We got lights. Hey, coming on a little bit later, speaking of great music, we've got the Blue Ribbon Band. We've also got Chris Barnes that'll be coming in very shortly. So please tweet in your questions. Um, tell us your favorite song by Blue Ribbon Band or their favorite cover that they do. They do some really kick-ass covers. Um, I like that they have a female singer that covers Led Zeppelin. Like, because, you know, Robert Plant just kind of sounds like a girl anyway, so, like, it works. Right? Oh, no, I need Steve to do this. Steve! Steve, you gotta log back into fuel on this, I think. Do you want me to do it? So. No, you guys can talk if you want. You can talk now. You guys have, like, mysteriously clammed up once I accused Eric of not liking Fleetwood Mac. Because it got, it got, shit got real. <laughs> it did get real there for a minute. You want to talk about bunheads again, or what? What do you want to do? Well, I have something well, I can okay. talk. If you were, to, what is your favorite band from that era? Tell me, tell me about from a the seven you, from the nineteen seventies. You would rather listen to other than then Fleetwood Mac. Mac, and don't say Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> I can't say Fleetwood Mac. No. Um. I, I Boston. Come. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm the stuck on, dude. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> wow. One hundred percent. You would rather listen to like zombies. Boston and Kansas than Fleetwood Mac. The Who? The Who? No, I hate, I hate Kansas. Oh, I thought you were going to say You I hate Kansas, <laughs> but you love Boston? They're the same band. They are literally the same band. They're I clearly, different, they're clearly, clearly. different cities. <laughs> clearly different cities. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you're right. That's weird. You have a weird taste in music. I guess when you only have like two radio stations in northern Wisconsin where <laughs> Eric's from, like then yeah. that's so, that's how you turn out. What were you yeah. listening to? Like, we're we're gonna play that here. Fleetwood Mac crap. You're you're what? the only C D you listen to is just recordings of Brewers games, isn't it? Uh I listen to a lot of ZZ Top. Tons of ZZ Top. <laughs> that's awesome. Nothing oh but my ZZ God. Top. That is so terrible. I can't imagine. Yeah, so uh, we did a show on uh, Thursday night at a uh, goth club. Yeah. Speaking of ZZ Top, <laughs> we did a show at a goth club on the south side. I wouldn't really characterize it as a goth club, but more of a uh, what would you what would you say like an alternative club yeah. or something like that? <laughs> it's an alternative club, <laughs> a club for those who don't fit into society. Yeah, norms. all the square pegs, man. Yeah. All the square pegs. Um, it was really cool though, right? It was a very good time, yeah. A uh, nice bar. It's called Club Anything. It's right by Botana. So if you ever want to go out to a Mexican restaurant, um, go to Club Anything afterwards because they've probably got a really sweet deal going on. Did you want me to turn the headphones down? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotcha. Um, but, like, yeah, they have an absinthe lounge at this place. They have uh, weird chains on the walls. And we did a comedy show there. Yeah. It was really fun. And then we did the Aristocrats afterwards. That was a good time. It was a good time, but it got a little awkward, right? Well, right, because you didn't really. You there was a, at some point it had to end, and we were just waiting for someone to end it so we didn't have to talk anymore right. for a while. Yeah, and that Ryan was. Ryan Lowe a did a great, great job. Oh yeah. Yeah, Ryan Lowe was there dressed as. Uh, why don't you describe Ryan Lowe? Uh, you remember Belle from Beauty and the Beast? Sure. Okay, remember the dress she was wearing through most of the movie? The Absolutely. Yellow, the yellow yeah, that. Uh, imagine that was blue, and a man. Uh, and then you took like you shaved the beast, the the beast's back, and you glued it to uh, Uncle Fester's face. Sure. And that's what you had Ryan Lowe as. That's <laughs> beautiful nightgown, excellent beard, uh, shaved head. He's a beautiful, beautiful man, woman thing. Oh yeah, it was weird though, a right? Beautiful creature of the night. 
I'm trying to find a it good song. It wasn't weird at all. It was. <laughs> I was proud to have been in his company. Yeah, he, he was, was. He was the MC of uh, the. Uh, he was in charge of the mic for the Aristocrats, and uh, everyone had a really good contribution to it. It just, yeah, needed to end. And like, it was weird that you could just like show up dressed that way. It was fine. Yeah. All right, Eric. Time for you to explain why you don't like Fleetwood Mac. Are you ready? <laughs> over a Fleetwood Mac song. Yep, over a Fleetwood Mac song. And we can do this because we don't need the rights to it because we're doing comedy. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm going to set this up. Okay. Okay. Eric Thorson is not very smart. He doesn't like Fleetwood Mac. True. Please enjoy this Fleetwood Mac song. Oh, and it's a live one. Along with Eric Thorson explaining why he hates Fleetwood Mac. Um, all I hear is uh, cheering, so. Yeah, it's because people, people love them. See, if I was there, I would be booing because I hate them so much. Be like, boo, this band sucks. Play a different song that isn't Fleetwood Mac, you guys. I can't believe I paid admission. Let's see this band. You're still explaining here. Oh, I'm still explaining? I yep. You, you know, okay. Um, yeah, I'm just not a really big fan of, like, uh, you know, like, guitars and drums bass singing so you don't like bands singing basically. yeah singing sucks singing sucks singing is the worst it is yeah and oh like the song's not playing now it's just <laughs> now there's a bunch of comics standing around in in the in the uh, studio i'll call it a studio right now yeah um we've got damon millard say hi damon hey guys we've got lara bites who i did a show with on sunday what's up <laughs> And Gary Zajikowski. Hey, hey, Gary. Hey, Gary. Gary, are you glad the Brewers aren't getting no hit anymore? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it lost. doesn't matter, though. They lost? They lost? Oh, they lost. Oh, oh that's too bad. Well, at least they, they, weren't, no they weren't. At least they weren't like the ninth no hitter this year. <laughs> yeah. You should do Bronson Arroyo covering the Oh, that's right. Bronson Arroyo sings songs. Here, look that up, Steve. Oh, yeah. So Lara Bites and I did a show on Sunday night in uh, Madison. It was my first show in Madison, Wisconsin, where I'm from. And we filled that place up with people, mostly because of my mom, who, uh, who called like all her friends to come to the show, which was really great. It was really cool. She likes to tweet into the show, too. She yeah, definitely. Uh, Debbie Mason, if you're out there, tweet Shout at Cast of Killers, <laughs> hashtag Killer Radio. And um, my dad was there. And I definitely, per Laura's suggestion, told my, my, the entire audience and my family and uh, their friends that my dad molested me as a joke. Oh, wow. It was the first thing I said when I got on stage, was that my dad molested me, um, which I thought was... go over? Yeah, uh, people laughed and other people were a little shocked that I would go there <laughs> right away. But Lara said, please do it. I believe her exact words were, please do it for me. <laughs> I was like, oh, all these nice people came out to see me who had never seen me perform comedy before. You know what? Uh, I respect Lara enough to uh, do a joke just for her. It's, it's all about Lara. <laughs> and we did it. And they laughed. It was good. It was fun. It was at the uh, Project Lodge in Madison, which is this little gallery space. It's and space. Yeah, it's a really nice space. I know that Damon and Jason were there for the uh, Method Behind the Madness podcast that you can check out on iTunes. Um, Check out their specific episode, too, because Damon probably talks about himself a ton. And they, you, it was BYOB, which was sweet. It was awesome. So I think my dad brought a whole cooler that he wouldn't let me have access to after I said that he molested me. <laughs> but we got pretty rowdy and had a good time. I'm, Lara, Lara sure, was great. Pretty sure you compliment him. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I do. I'm the, I'm the jerk son <laughs> who gets away with what he wants. But Lara was great. I was great. Uh, the Madison comics were great. Jay and uh, Jay Abendanza and Chris Lay, always funny guys. Uh, if you ever get a chance to see a show in Madison, look for those two names on the bill because they're always funny and they're always booking really great shows. Jay's going to be at uh, Sherman Perk this Friday. Oh, that's right. Yeah. What a great show. Yeah. Uh, where is Sherman Perk? It's on uh, West Roosevelt Drive. Sure. And on the west side of, uh, well, we should say like, like nor northwest, northwest side, side of uh, Milwaukee. Sherman Park area. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, go out to that club. Yeah. Really nice place. That's yeah, BYOB, too. Can yes, we say that? Yes, it is. Yes. That's BYOB. It's BYOB. BYOB. That's BYOB. Um, I like a BYOB show. Yeah. It's really kind of nice because you don't have to pay for beer. That's that's <laughs> the thing because you bring it because right. you just bring it. 
That's yeah. Hence the B-Y-O-B. Bring your own. Yeah. Yeah. What oh, is this? It's really fun. Show. Oh, this is, uh, what am I showing? <laughs> Don't show it. Bronson. Is it Bronson Arroyo? Yeah. Bronson Arroyo. All right. He has All a really right. weird, weird wind-up, doesn't he? He has a really yeah, weird wind-up. Yeah. Big kick, big kick. Yeah, big kick. <laughs> so uh, we should have Chris Barnes coming in pretty soon, yeah. and yeah. Bronson Arroyo maybe singing some songs here too. Yeah. So the Brewers were getting no hit. Wow. Into the eighth. Into the oh, eighth. that's no good. Oh, yeah. That's not good. That is not good. Damon, what have you been up to today? Why don't you jump on Eric's mic there real quick and say hi? <laughs> Throw in those cans because you're gonna hear some Bronson Arroyo. Yeah. Oh yeah. What do you think of this? Give us your full critique of this. For the for the for the punane? Yeah, that's what I meant. I'm this sensitive. Oh, he's got long, beautiful hair. If you don't know who Bronson Arroyo is, he's that guy who ends up on your fantasy league who every year, because you pick him up for a spot start, he oh, does good. Oh, he's a ball player. What? And he's singing. Oh, what a... Kidding. You can't be two heroes at the same time. Yeah, cut it out, Chief. Yeah. Out. It's over the top. Yeah. It's so that's Bronson Arroyo. The, what else does he do? It's over the top with the handsome, over the tall, chat. athletic shit stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Or, uh, the shenanigans. Yeah, that shenanigans is, needs to go. I'm racist against a few people, and they're all tall. <laughs> a few, a few like, billion, successful. a few billion of them. You know, I hate tall, successful people. I don't know. It's just the way I'm wired, man. Like, <laughs> I, I Damon, what do you got height. going on this week? This week, uh, let's see. I'm gonna be down in Beloit. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the king of Beloit. I'm going back down there on the 30th with uh, Ryan Lowe to do a show. And uh, we're the, we're gonna do that. I just got back from the Skyline Comedy Cafe, which is pretty awesome. I did five shows up there. Turns out, me and the headliner uh, from the same hometown. What do you know? What? Do you what? Know? New yeah. Jack City? Yes, it was. It was uh, me and uh, Paul. Pauly. Paul. Paul. Paulie Morrissey. Paulie Morrissey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Paulie. <laughs> so. Yeah, it turns out we're from the same place. Had a bunch of good shows there. Every single day after the show, me and Paul, we went to um, Had a Applebee's slice. on... on uh, <laughs> we went to uh, Applebee's on uh, College mm. uh, because there's two. Uh, College Ave, Appleton. Yeah, that's right. I actually ran into Joe. Joe. Joey? I ran into Joey. He was, he was bitching and moaning because I didn't tell him about the show going on in Appleton, which I probably didn't. But at the same time, what? why is he not friends with you on Facebook? I, I don't... Or not checking his Facebook. Either. Yeah, I don't know. Shout out to Joey Mulaney. Very funny Joey character. Joey Mulaney. Joey. So where'd you, where'd you run into Joey? Thank let me guess. Let me guess. Ryan At a Mason, bar. Joey. He was. He was standing outside of a bar. Uh, I was doing my rounds. Frank's Pizza Palace? Oh, I don't know where that That's is. That's a nice one. Is it? Fox Valley. Oh, yeah. That's Appleton. It, yeah. Uh, it was cool. Uh, it was fun. Yeah. yeah. I saw some pictures from that show. It looked like a good show. and That oh, was great. Uh, oh, it was really great. You did what, like three shows? Five. Five? Wow. Yeah. Uh, was the 10 o'clock show completely different from the 9 o'clock? I think, yeah, as far as vibe goes, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, they're instantly drunker, and there's more. there was more like... Uh, it was more like bachelor, bachelorette parties at the late, late ones. So. Now, do you consider yourself uh, like a victim to the vibe or a sheriff of the vibe? I'm sheriff. I, I, you're I'm a sheriff. A you're a vibe. I'm sheriff. a herder. Okay. I, right. you know, I let the vibe tell me what needs to be done, and then I put them in. the Oh, right so corners. you listen to the vibe, and then you do as the vibe tells you. No, no, no. no. I'm, I move the vibe. You negotiate with the vibe. I'm like the Pied Piper of the vibe. <laughs> okay, yeah. you're the vibe piper. I'm the vibe piper. <laughs> <laughs> Well, come out and see Damon Millar, the Vibe Piper. That's right. <laughs> I got a website. People, yeah, COKComedy.com. Oh, you got a new I website. I got one. It's going to be DamonMillar.com. Right now, I'm on a trial period through Banzoogle. Uh, if you get a Banzoogle account, tell them I told you about it. And uh, so I have a couple months free. Uh, cool. But yeah, it's going to be DamonMillar.com. I checked that out today. So come I noticed it. that your trial, your new website has nothing but old pictures on it. We gotta get some new pictures. Dude, I just I I was messing with it today. It's it's a little more. It's up to date now. I know a photographer right there. 
Yeah. Sarah. Yeah, she's so greedy, though. I like know. Money, money, eh, money, money. Thousands, money. I need thousands. She's uh, trying to dictate your vibe. No, don't dictate you, that's, my vibe. You don't need that. I don't, don't do that. You don't dictate the vibe Piper's vibe. That's right. <laughs> I'm the one in charge of this vibe. So, uh, yeah, if you if you see uh, Damon Millard out, you know, maybe grab a drink, imbibe with the vibe Piper. Um, <laughs> If he's holding the snake, just uh, imbibe with the Vibe Piper's Viper. And uh, <laughs> if you feel like you're going to pee yourself, just imbibe with the Vibe Piper's Viper's diaper. Right? <laughs> I could go on. So, I dare you to keep yeah, going. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no. Thanks, Damon. Um, did did Chris Barnes walk in? Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, no, it's just another black dude. Uh, <laughs> Seriously, it's just... Uh, well, that'll be fine. Just bring him on. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah, hey, you just say some stuff. Yeah. You've been doing Yo, comedy for 30 years. Go. Say some stuff. <laughs> yeah, hey, you just, you hey can you say some stuff? Applebee's. Dude, that's the only thing open in Appleton after 10 o'clock. It's it Applebee's. Applebee's. Yeah. And they're both on College Ave. There's two. Can you see them from each other? No. Oh. <laughs> no, you can't. But one of them, like, closes earlier than the other. And, like... It's like the hangout. Like, it's, have you ever been drunk? It's like drunk a peach at an pit Applebee's on though? like nine hundred two one zero. Like everybody's oh, there, dude. We should mention that Damon's older than some people. Oh, huh. yeah. I'm like you've never teasing. seen nine hundred two one zero. Yes, I've seen nine hundred two one zero when it was on the CW the oh. second time around. Oh, yeah, the second time. <laughs> I seen you caught run. it in syndication. Yeah, I, what a I liked it the second time I caught. Yeah, I had saw the original. It. <laughs> yeah, I had the first edition. Well, you should check I out. I saw Bunheads. that. Why do you think I started growing sideburns? Dylan, that's why. <laughs> that's why. why do you think I got a nasty heroin <laughs> addiction and crashed my car? Because of Steve. The, the Steve. No one liked Steve. Nobody the likes blonde Steve. Blonde punk. Steve was a strange, like, strange blonde monkey. Yeah. All right, I'm going to play a song so because I have to use the restroom, and we're going to uh, hopefully bring on Chris Barnes shortly. Uh, um, this is another song from the Blue Ribbon Band. It's called Fool. Please work. Oh, it's working. You sure can. What's up, buddy? What's that? Follow? What's that guy? Yeah, I plugged in the wrong thing there. This is still the Blue Ribbon Band. This is cool. This is Andrew singing out there. He'll be on the show a little bit later.
Welcome back to the Killer Radio Show. This is Steve Breeze again. Um, they're all outside, and they don't. No one wants to come and talk to me again. Um, so why don't you tweet in? What should I do? What kind of date should I go on? Tweet in awesome date Steve Breeze should go on. This is a new experience for me. Jason's coming. He's gonna talk to me, right? Yay! No, he's Fuck just. Off, Steve. Oh fuck! Oh. No one likes me. Tweet in reasons you don't like me too. That's that's another thing you could do. Let's let's just hate on Steve Breeze all night, and every night. Um, it's usually my life anyway. My mom loves me though. My mom's not listening though. She doesn't. Doesn't appre- I don't tell her about this show. Uh, you want to come talk to me, Eric? No. Yeah, no. Sure. Oh, okay. Oh, Finally. <laughs> I asked them to tweet in uh, dates I should go on, oh, and yeah. uh, and and uh, why they hate me. Um, all right, get out of there. All right, I'm getting off. Bye, everybody. Eric, carry the air for two seconds. All right, I'm Eric Thorson. You're listening to the Killer Radio Show. <laughs> tweet at us at Cast of Killers hashtag Killer Radio. Keep knocking over the thing. What is happening? We're back on the Killer Radio Show. I like that we're back when I'm back. We're back with uh, Eric Thorson. We Chris Barnes is here outside chatting it up, and he'll be in in just a moment. Um, and then we have the, uh, the crew from uh, the Blue Ribbon Band. will be here a little bit later. Uh, Andrew and Madeline, the really uh, the stars of the show, other than the other uh, four members of the band, um, will be coming in, and we'll hopefully we'll be continuing to play some of their music. I know the people out there that listen to the show really like them, and they support us, so we like to support them. So... Um, yeah, tune in for that. So, Eric, uh, you didn't get to make it to the show it, at the uh, goth club that we were at, but you were in Slinger. How'd it go? Um, pretty pretty terrible, I will say. Um, yeah, I heard it was a yeah. just a terrible thing. I uh, I don't know if we'll ever do another show again, there again. It was just like comedy people's backs, so they didn't really care. No, that's no good. The, I will say that the... It's kind of like doing radio to nobody. <laughs> you know what I mean? The, uh, the Miami Heat, the finals game, was going on, so like everybody just wanted to like... Oh yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, right. Yeah, it kind of sucked. That's all right though. You got to do some time, even if nobody was listening. You're yeah. still doing your jokes, you know. Absolutely, yeah. You know, you do those shows where like nobody is paying attention, and you're just like, "Well, I'm telling my joke to myself. I better <laughs> do it what makes me laugh." And sometimes that gives you the freedom to like do a joke a different way. Yeah. Which is I fun just, too. Uh, Did you do anything like, weird like to try and get people's attention? Um, I didn't, but it was a wireless mic, and I know Sean Shelnut was there, and he, uh, another comic who's, who's been on the show, and uh, he, yeah, he just, like, walked around and just messed with people and tried to get them to pay attention. I mean, like, that's always a bad when you're a comic and you got to, like, beg for people's attention at a show. It's always just kind of like, you know, yeah, you didn't have to pay to get in, yeah, it's a free show at a bar, but still, just, like, have some respect and oh, yeah. listen to us, not just, like, back to turned, like... People came came up to me after the show, and they were like, oh, yeah, I think you're funny, but I just got out of work, and I didn't really care. I just wanted to drink and watch the game. It's like, oh, well, we'll Yeah, they'll, we'll, like, we'll offer to buy you a then. beer later. Yeah. They're like, oh, sorry, I wasn't listening, man. Can I buy you a beer? And you're like, uh, no, like, you could have, like, probably just, you know. Right. I'm leaving now because this yeah. sucked. I'm not going to stick around anymore. Yeah. That's too bad. Um, Sarah, go grab Jason and tell him to grab Chris Barnes. Then we'll bring them on because we got everybody's Cassie coming Killers. in all at once. Cast Killers, we got 97 followers. Our 100th follower gets free tickets to a karma show. The Killer Radio Show or what? Or the Cast Killers? At Cast the Killers. The Twitter. Oh, the Twitter. Twitter, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. If you want to come see a show, follow at Cast the Killers and tweet that you want to come see a show. There's a lot of really great shows at Karma specifically that are Karma's fantastic. Specific. So yeah, super good. Um, right now, we're going to bring in... Uh, Jason Hellman, yeah, who ate a sandwich this? already, refilled his water, and coming into the uh, to the video store. Why don't you uh, you want to? Yeah, why don't you sit over here, and we'll bring in Chris Barnes. So, All right, here we coming go. to the airwaves right now, Mr. Chris Barnes. My headphones, yep. my headphones. Yeah, those are your headphones. headphones on. They're those are these. In. Those are yeah. We actually they're plugged in, aren't they? No, yeah. the other ones weren't plugged in. Oh yeah. Okay. Are you familiar with this? Putting the cans on? I'm familiar with it. I'm ready. 
Right on. Right Welcome on. to uh, the Killer Radio Show, Chris Barnes. This is the, the the Killer Radio Show? That's that's absolutely right. All right. The Killer Radio Show. Here yep. we are. I'm Ryan Mason. You're on RiverWestRadio.com. Like is this like a porn bookstore? You know, this wall right this? here is all porn right here. I mean, this is this like wall. really... Oh, Art, my Art, God. That's my porn. old video from 1982. <laughs> Can you believe that? Well, would they you, still have that on the show. You were in a porn video? I was in a porn video in uh, 1982. 82. Did you go by a different name? Or? No, I was just actually walking past. and I That was your name? I saw the couple going at it. <laughs> You're just in the just, background? Oh, you so you I was actually the in the morning. background. I was the guy that was looking in the window. <laughs> sure. Just oh, yeah. kind of peeping in there and yeah, watching. Yeah, absolutely. So, <laughs> what was the name of that film? My Neighbors. Oh. <laughs> that was the name of that really My good Neighbors one. Next Door. Sure. How yeah. many sequels were there? Uh, there were like three. And Three. a prequel. Yeah, and my neighbor's and next door, my neighbor's in the backyard, <laughs> and my neighbor's in the car. <laughs> <laughs> and then it ended when the cops showed up. So. Oh, it got really steamy, though. Uh, prison got, heat, my neighbor's. Really, that's on the really, cut. really, really hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, this Chris Barnes, a... thank you so much for coming in. We, uh, hey, thanks we're big for fans. Me. Is that Slits beer? Yeah, oh, yeah, they sell Schlitz next door. Oh, my God. It's a classy place. I haven't seen that since 1979. <laughs> wow. Right before uh, guys, my this neighbors. Is like a, this is like a reunion. <laughs> no, you guys are like bringing back memories here. This is like, Yeah, man. Hey, come on down. It's still happening. Remember the old times? <laughs> River West so. has an age to bet. I do. Yes. I remember 1998. Well, you know, black people don't really come to River West. Well, they stay. Yeah. Well, yeah, they, they have to stay in the back of the here. cop car there. <laughs> <laughs> until the paddy wagon shows up. Well, Do they Chris, still call it a paddy wagon? Holton's or right down call? there. Holton's right down there. Well, that's that's like a couple blocks away. I mean, yeah. You know, well, yeah. On, hey. Dividing line. Dividing. Things could change within a block. I heard on the uh, on the news today actually they were talking about District Five's police uh, precinct and they were getting yelled at because they did unlawful cavity searches. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's a bunch of cops that just got off. Well, on black it. people don't really have cavities because <laughs> they can't go to the dentist. Yeah, we got false teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so they did. <laughs> it's like they're a lot, doing a, a cavity lot of sugar in those barrels. and then they stop because you don't have any insurance. <laughs> Wait a minute. We were doing this cavity search, and his brother doesn't have any insurance. You guys are going to get a lot of calls now. Now you're going to be off the air. <laughs> Who was that white-sounding black guy <laughs> that was talking about cavity searches? <laughs> oh, people say I, people say I okay. sound white until they see me. <laughs> Is that true? Was that you? Oh, yeah. now you got me on yes, camera? He's on oh, now we've got, oh, oh, says, we've got proof of you. Well, you don't really have me. You just got this green shirt. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> this shows me this little slaves. Uh, what was that? Manish sex slaves. Was, I know. I saw that. <laughs> classic. Classic. Well, that Chris Barnes uh, was that a porn? That was like that was like triple X. It was like the X. porn. That was the porn. That was the porn that started porn. Yeah. Danish sex slaves. Yeah. Oh my God. Absolutely. This is probably the only place you, you can guys have pick too that much up. Going on. I know. You guys have too much going on in here. Is this place even open? I don't yeah, even it's see open. anybody it's in open. here. Am I gonna, what is this now that you're showing me? <laughs> Now that you now that you said that they're going to put you on their commercials, they're going to be like, "Oh my God, River West Who's film and video." Is this Holy place Virgin. even open? <laughs> Chris Barnes. I know the cops are on their way. Holy Virgin. So Chris Barnes, uh, local comic, touring comic, funny person, white sounding black guy, white sounding porn black connoisseur, guy. porn connoisseur. <laughs> um, what have you been up to lately that uh, that you've enjoyed? I just got back from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Oh, beautiful! Uh, and uh, Take the Durham, choo -choo. Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina, and uh, Fredericksburg, Virginia. Yeah, and, Tobacco Road. Uh, where else? Chattanooga, Tennessee. Did I say Chattanooga? You did, but you went okay. there twice. I went there twice. <laughs> I felt like I went there twice. Yeah, Chattanooga. Uh, I was all over the place, man. God, yeah, I was, I was on a plane. I went from planes. Trains and automobiles. Yeah. Oh yeah, John Planes, Candy. trains. Yeah, I know. It was ridiculous. I flew into Baltimore, Maryland. I sure. stayed the night in the airport with the homeless people, which was really <laughs> cool. And I got really nervous. I, I, they had this room. It's called the meditation room at the airport, and it's like you can sleep there. 
Well, you really can't sleep there, but people sleep there. It's like a little room, and they said, you know, it's like, where do you go and relax? It was like 12 o'clock at night. My flight got in at 12. Like you can meditate. Yeah, and it's like, well, you can go to the meditation room and hang out in there. And so I went in there. It's like all these homeless people just, like, laying around. Cleveland has an airport like that. The most that, where zen the of them all. Yeah. Yes. Where are they flying to? Well, the homeless people, they don't fly. They just, I mean. Oh, really? They just come to the airport and they just kind of hang around. They pretend like they're flying. They're always like, yeah, you, you just have to talk to them and say like, oh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not like you. I'm in transit. And they're just they're like, yeah, transit. I'm always in transit. Well, they can't fly because it's $25 a bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they got a shitload of bags. So they, can't, they can't really. It's like, man, dude, do you know that those bags are going to cost you more than your airline ticket? It's like so. checking their uh, their right. shopping carts. Is that How a problem? How much is it going to cost exactly. me to move my house? <laughs> oh man so i hung out there and that was really cool and uh some guy snored like all he was like <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> i said i gotta get the hell out of here so then uh i hung out by dunkin donuts oh sure there, i'm sure there were no homeless people there <laughs> there were tons of homeless people there <laughs> at dunkin donuts that's like coffee. homeless per person like it's, like, it's the capital of yeah. homeless person town well they were there because it's free refills on the coffee so oh yeah yeah they were there just drinking because you want to be awake night. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. you got to be awake if you're homeless. Oh yeah, because you don't want anybody to steal. You don't want to lose your back. <laughs> yeah, you don't want anybody to steal your furniture. Oh, absolutely. Break in your house. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Do they have like homeless renters insurance? Or Probably homeless and in homeless insurance. Replace my packing tape. A, a coupon. Yeah. So wait, yes. Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, the homeless people get the they get the refill. They coffee. get the refill. Coffee. So you want to be like a high caffeine, high sugar carbohydrate diet. Like if you're homeless, that way yes. you got like the energy to never sleep, right? Exactly. You have to. I mean, it's smart. And then, and then you can go dumpster diving or whatever it is where they go and they get the food out of the dumpster in the back. So. <laughs> You got to be really hyped up to dig through that dumpster. Oh, yeah, for sure. I love homeless people. They are so cool. It's like, you know, I just talked to a homeless guy all night. Do you remember, like, the first time you met a homeless person, though? Like, I remember the experience of, like, meeting somebody who was, like, shaking a can of change and walking by and being, being like, with my parents and then, like, stopping and saying, like, oh, this person's talking to me. And then my parents being like, he just wants your money. And I was like, you guys gave me my allowance. I can do what I want with it. <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> It's like, stay away from him. He's homeless. But do you remember the first time that you ever met a homeless person? <laughs> oh, you keep showing me these. Oh, she's hot. <laughs> well, Who we can put that on the, on the film there. Just hold White that women up. with big breasts. <laughs> oh, my God. Bavarian sex I uh, know. You're going to need a shopping this cart. This is a sex comedy collection? <laughs> Where are you getting all this from? Right here in the store. She's like pulling this out of her purse. Oh, I didn't hear yeah. You. I'm not being okay until everyone laughs at the fact that I just said she puts the hoe in leader hose. Oh, I didn't hear that. <laughs> she puts I didn't the hear hoe that. in That's leader hose. That's over there, I ladies and gentlemen. I did not hear that. Comedy and What's a Bavarian anyways? <laughs> Southern Germany is considered Oh, Bavaria. okay. Well, you know, black people don't know about Southern Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? <laughs> what just, do this, black this, people know about? not big in the hood. We know about <laughs> German potato salad. Yes, yes. That's that cold potato salad. That stuff be good. What's the warm potato salad? Just potato salad. Hawaiian. Okay. Right. <laughs> we should say that. I like that one. What's the warm potato salad? Just potato salad. <laughs> because, you know, you got to boil the, oh, the yeah. eggs. Mm -hmm. You got to boil the potatoes. And then when they make it, it starts out warm. But we should say that the Chris works at a deli. By the family reunion, is cold. <laughs> but it starts, out, it starts out warm. The I warm potato salad. I was, at, I was going on a camping trip recently. And this woman that I was with was, like, buying nine different types of potato salad. Like, just that was her rations for a full weekend oh i don't think God. i could eat she a was weekend trying to piss off the whole family huh <laughs> it was like who's staying in a tent with you after this <laughs> i know the dog doesn't even want the potato salad it's like nine potato salads i feel like potato salad goes, go, about... goes bad instantly yeah. too like once you open it it's like instantly it's no good no more potato salad yeah because you always see it at a picnic just like covered in flies or whatever yes yeah you got to keep it covered you have to keep potato salad covered and potato salad is like the last thing that's supposed to come out you're supposed, oh yeah you're supposed to keep that the coup de cooler gras. in the car and then when everybody's ready then you bring that out you don't sit that on the table unless it's german potato salad yeah right? in which case it yes. kind of takes over <laughs> because everything that's else like, that's like the cooked potato salad <laughs> until the other side wait i thought that in. was just potato salad <laughs> no just potato salad is like the yeah you're right 
But German is like the cooked one. You know, now for more potato confused. salad tips, please follow oh, here Chris Barnes on Twitter. <laughs> please tweet us. Uh, was that like a gay porn or something like that? Who, who tweet are us your those guys? Potato salad. Who? What is it? It's some old unattractive. It's some old unattractive porno. Oh, I thought those were all guys. Rita, Sue, and Bob. Oh, Brita. Okay. Rita, Sue, and Bob. Is that Rita or Brita? Oh, yeah, I mean, oh, why, Rita, don't you, why don't you give us Rita a synopsis Sue and there, Bob, Chris? too. Oh, it's two chicks with a guy. I've never heard of such a thing. Well, Devil's three-way. Wait, no. The opposite. There's no DVD in here. Oh, you got to pick it up over there. Oh, you got to pick it up at the counter? <laughs> yeah. You oh, gotta... so y'all do get black people up in here. <laughs> <laughs> you keep the DVDs behind the counter. Are those bananas on the counter? Oh, those aren't bananas, Chris. Oh, okay. They look like bananas <laughs> from a distance. This is really weird. I cannot believe that I'm in a video porn store or a bookstore or whatever. We call it the studio. Is. I'm in the studio. <laughs> have you ever done, have you ever done radio from a porn store? I've never done radio from oh, a porn store. Oh, it's great store. for your skin. You keep looking at me and he's hiding over there. He's like, I'm not going to look at the black guy. I'm just going to kind of peep at him every now and then. Is Make that the president? Who is that guy? <laughs> Huh. Where did he come from? <laughs> so Jesus. you're uh, you you've been touring. You did Chattanooga. Did what, Chattanooga. How do you? Where do you? Uh, where do you get your start? You know, you know, I'm not really familiar with your. I actually your... got my start not too far from here. In River West. Well, yeah, it was a River West Alley. We used to work at a place called the Jazz Gallery down the block there. So. Oh, I know where that is. Yeah, it's, it's by not Wendy's there anymore. Wasn't it by the Wendy's though? I don't remember a Wendy's around. You mean that place across the street? I think that place there, yeah. was, there was no Wendy's when uh, well, things have I was changed, coming. Chris. When I was, was it on North out. Avenue? No. Oh, the okay. Jazz Gallery was like Center. right down here on Center Street somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. Was, <laughs> oh, goodbye, Uncle Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a black the English guy version. in chains. <laughs> and he's got breasts. That's That seems that's about right. I know. So right here, goodbye, you, Uncle Tom. Right here in uh, River West, uh, kind I, of. Yeah, the, well, actually, I, I I did some comedy at the Jazz Gallery. That's where I met Bill Cosby. Actually, was at the oh, Jazz really? Gallery right down the block. He came in after a performance. He used to do a show called I Spy. You guys don't remember mm -hmm. that? You remember that? Oh my God! How old are you? He's fifteen. You look so young. But yeah, the the Jazz Gallery, and uh, he stopped in. He popped in after a show at the uh, PAC, and. Um, I uh, actually just got off stage and Bill Cosby came in and he likes, you know, he's big on jazz and he came sure. in and uh, someone Who isn't? Brought, yeah, someone brought him in and he actually got on stage and it was kind of cool. And it was like, you know, the other comics, they looked at me and they said, my God, you just opened for Bill Cosby. So that was one of my credits. So and then you went yes. immediately. I to just the took that you as saw. a credit. I <laughs> opened for Bill Cosby. So if you ever see that written anywhere, that's how I opened for Bill Cosby. <laughs> the <jazz> technically <laughs> Open for him because I wasn't booked on a show because Bill Cosby doesn't have comedians that open for him. Oh, really? He just, yeah, he just popped in. No, no co comic ever opens for Bill Cosby. Yeah, why would you want to? No one <laughs> opens for the cause. <laughs> well, you did. you know, he's the man. <laughs> what would you say if your mother gave you a bowl of jello brand pudding, <laughs> pudding pops, I'm in the porn store. Now, <laughs> the first thing I want to see is the pudding pop porn video because <laughs> jello brand pudding is freaky. <laughs> and that would be Bill Cosby. But anyway, so oh, I cannot believe this is happening to me. It's like, yeah, are you? What like, has happened to my career? Are you after scared at this point? Nervous or like disappointed? Or just a no? Role. I'm ex I'm glad that you guys are doing this. I'm actually impressed. You know, because when I started out, you know, guys that were starting in the business and stuff like that. I mean, we weren't doing anything but you know, just waiting on a phone call. It's the digital age. You guys are going. I know you guys are going out, and you're you're like making this happen. Happen, man. Yeah, absolutely. And, and this is what you do. Uh, we've got a we've got a band that's coming in here after you to talk about some of their gigs coming up. The Blue Ribbon Band will be in here. They're skulking around the porn store here. Uh, the, uh, Madeline's over there. Is hiding. the blue the Paps Blue Ribbon Band is here? That's yeah. That's the lead oh, singer. Oh my our, god! Two lead singers are over there. Paps Blue Ribbon has their own band. Yeah. And then the Miller Boys are coming. Unaffiliated. In unaffiliated. We were going to get the Budweiser Boys, but they would have had to come up from <laughs> St. Louis, and we we couldn't afford the bus trip. The so. Coors Sisters are. The Fantastic. Four sisters. Yeah. Oh, what they can do with a bottle. <laughs> Silver bullet, ladies. Silver bullet. 
<laughs> Man, this is really nice. Yeah, I can imagine things must be different now with, uh, you know, social different. media and all those sorts of things. You find yourself being able to get into things like Twitter and Facebook and being able to actually utilize I those. don't even know how to do it. It's like oh, I'm no. in the stone age, you know. I have uh, get agents. Get neighborhood kid to do it. I, I need someone. I have agents that call me and they're like, well, can you, like, uh, fax me over? Or oh, not fax because they wouldn't even do that <laughs> fax. anymore. But can you fax me your Twitter? <laughs> well, no, they just want you to fax that you over. Fax me your Twitter. <laughs> Don't you ever be funnier than me again. All right? <laughs> <laughs> I could have thought of that line. Just give me a minute. That was a good line. I like that. Can you fax me your Twitter? No, but but anyway, no, guys, they'll, they'll call me and they want me to like, you know, what do you what do you e you email it right? Right. That's yeah. Yeah. Call it. You email it over and stuff like that. And it's like, <laughs> can I just mail it? <laughs> can, I, can I put a stamp on it and send it to you? And the same with your picture. You have to like, is it all scanned now or something? Or it's just like, it's, well, it's all digital. We now put a, a card into a computer. And yes. It already has our picture and they, on it. Yeah. Yeah. And they do that. And I like, speak it's it. like your I eight by 10 is like it. right there. It's like, so I, I don't have all truth, that. Ryan. I, had I have to get up. Sake. I have to get get with the times and get with technology. My kids know how to do all that. Oh, just pay one of them to do it. I know. Cheap labor. I just got an iPhone, man. Oh, so. congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> I'm excited about that iPhone. What's the most exciting part of your iPhone? What have you? The most you exciting most part by? about my iPhone is that I can I can voice text. I can oh, you know, yeah. speak it and love that. it'll print it out. I love that. So because I'm a rotten speller. So I series does she doesn't understand black people. Every time I talk to her, it's like, you know, what McDonald's at? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I cannot take your request at this time. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean? You know, so now she doesn't understand brothers. You got to get a cricket phone for that. I'm pretty sure actually that's how that works. Whoa. <laughs> All the shots that I'm getting. Hey, if anybody else has a racial remark they care to share. No, no that's, that's actually serious. I know. <laughs> Uh, I cannot believe this is happening to me. <laughs> we got to hurry up because uh, my car is like, I got tickets and stuff. Oh, right. no, it's cool. It's cool. We got to notice there's in. a lot of cops in the area. <laughs> we're in front of a window. And yeah, but they, were, they ride past. bikes this in this like neighborhood. So cool. The cops are on bikes. The cops are on bikes. Yeah, you got to worry about it. That's racist. This is like so cool that you guys are doing this. I cannot. I feel like I'm on Howard Stern, man. <laughs> like we're in New York, but we're in Milwaukee. We're like, this is great. That's just because like, all the porn. We're in front of a window. <laughs> People are walking past homeless people. Hey, I just heard you on the radio talking oh, about us. We've had our fair show. Our show that? has been interrupted by homeless people four times. The first four shows we did, there was a homeless man named Andrew who came in and what did he call us? Well, he was, well he accused us of being in some sort of organization. No, I think he wanted to well, be. You bring it, him he was advertised. He was. Uh, you wouldn't like Andrew. He was recruiting for the KKK slash. Black Panther Party. Oh, yeah, it was a neat thing. <laughs> yeah. I think I could take this mic off, right? Because I'm like falling out of this chair. Oh, whatever you got to do. This is like so cool. Do you guys bring people in off the street? This is like, this is cool. You just brought that. We don't, that's why you're street. here. We don't do it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and again, it's somebody from All the street right, will come in. All right, now your radio listeners know that I was just driving down the street and hey, who are those guys? Who are those white guys in the window over there? How much for the Who are those cool guys? <laughs> Let me go over there and tell him I was a comedian, too. <laughs> so make sure you speak into your phones and uh, check out Chris Barnes online. Where can people find you, Chris? Uh, the next show that I'm doing actually is at Jokers. Oh, uh, far out. Out by the strip club. Yeah. Silk. I'm not familiar, but I mean. And then I'm actually doing a show at a place called 106, right off of C Booth. It's a Thursday, actually. We're doing this show, and this is going to be the first show we're doing. It's at a nice club. It's right on the river. Oh, very cool. And yeah, we're going to just start comedy there. We're going to start a Thursday night. I was talking to my man Jason here and uh, Damon and everyone about doing a comedy murder mystery. Yeah, that absolutely. That sounded really to, great. Right? We're trying to get it together, and it's going to be really great. We're going to get the audience involved. It's going to be a lot of interacting with the audience, a lot of improv, and, you know, I hope it's something that's really going to take off and, you know, just kind of put Milwaukee on the map. Other Absolutely. Than, other than comedy sports. I love comedy sports, but I think that this is something that people would enjoy, you know, bringing their family to and kids and, you know, just all kind of stuff. It would just be great. Yeah, a little, absolutely. A little murder mystery, and then the audience gets to solve, you know, um, <laughs> 
who 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 the murderer was you know who did the murder who a regular who done it who done it did i say that right yeah <laughs> who was the murderer yeah that's did exactly that right? right yeah it's a regular you know, sometimes who is black the people we got to check ourselves when we say things did i say that right it came <laughs> out right but i don't it didn't sound right when it was coming out you know so <laughs> but yeah like you know <laughs> They uh, will actually bring people on stage at the end uh, when the cops come in because the cops, you know, they're going to come to the murder scene and the crime scene and everything at the end. And we're going to have, uh, well, not real police, but, you know. Well, you know, uh, yeah, actors. I guess. And they'll come in and uh, we'll pull uh, witnesses from the audience. Yeah. I'm, I'm giving the whole thing away. Yeah, don't, <laughs> yeah, please, leave, don't a, leave give a it shred. away. This isn't gotta, porno. You don't have to just play it out on the I carpet. <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited about it, about, you know, getting this thing together that I want to get it together soon. I'm well, it sounds at, fantastic. Yeah. There's a lot of people in the scene, too, that November. do, uh, that act and that are in, uh, you know, kind of play both sides of the scene with the stand-up and, right. uh, with the stand-up and the, the acting the and all acting that. acting and the improv. Yeah, and so, I mean, having, everything. having every piece of that delivered to people who can also sit down and have a drink and perhaps have a nice meal i think that's i think that's everything right that's everything and yeah comics absolutely. are so creative and just a wild imagination that i think this thing is going to go to the everywhere moon. to yeah. the moon to the moon. top well uh where can people check you out chris well uh like i said 106 i'll be there thursday oh, do you have a website and I told What's you your I'm fax not number? up with the What's times. your fax number, Chris? My That's fax amazing. number is 414. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't have a website right now. I got a Facebook page. Yeah, absolutely. I'm under Christopher E. Barnes. Uh, B-A-R-N-E-S. Yep. He is my middle initial. Can't tell you what my middle name is. That's Can I guess? Secret. Go ahead, guess. Is it email? No. <laughs> okay. Email. Uh, equestrian. Equestrian. No. Uh, egalitarian. No. Uh, <laughs> not even close. No one could ever think of Egon? Is it Egon? Emerald. Christopher E. Barnes. What's the E for? Emerald. Some people say Edward. Eric. No. Eric. No. Christopher Eric Barnes. Elegant. No. Eustace? Elegant. Eustace? No. Eustace? No. Eunice. Elongate. You were close when you said Eunice, but no. Eunuch. No. Oh. Eunestus? No. I'm never going to get it then. Eugene. Evelyn. Oh, Oregon? Oh, Evelyn? Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> Eugene, Oregon. Uh, Eugene, why Oregon. Why didn't you use that as your comedy name? That's what? Hilarious. Eugene? Eugene yeah. Barnes. Eugene Barnes. You could, yeah, so. think of all the country bumpkin places you could play with. I thought with about Eugene using Barnes. Eugene for my last name, just going by Christopher Eugene, but. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because there's already another Chris Barnes, so I thought about Chris. Well, Eugene. we have to murder him. Okay. Yeah, we'll just have to high five him be, to death. Actually, he'll be in the second murder mystery that we do. <laughs> yeah, a comedy murder mystery. Double mystery. Chris Barnes. The reason that it's a comedy murder mystery is because you know there's because people get gonna, killed. Well, you're gonna have the the uh, the cast members are gonna be comics that will be doing a lot of improv and interacting with the audience. Yeah, absolutely. So there'll, be a, there'll be a lot of little one-liners coming at you and a lot of comedy coming at you. Oh, we got so a, a lot of a weird gang of. Uh, oh wow! Look at these people. guys. Well, there's yes. your ride. That's your rides here. That's what Votes droogies look like now. For Tom Barrett. <laughs> Did you guys have Tom Barrett in here? Did you? No, I wish. We talked about him. We tried to get Harry Treviti, the the third party candidate, but he wouldn't come in. Really? No. He, I thought that that was a hoax or something. He was too busy not getting voted I'd never for even him. heard of that guy, and I was like, how did he get on the ballot? Who is this guy? I thought it was just Three a name parties. that they just threw out there. I didn't even think it was a real person. It was a real person. I heard. And At Hari Triv on Twitter. I heard he's like a doctor or something. or Something like that. Something like that. Oh, we got to watch the time. Are yeah, we got to bring, bring on, uh, we gotta bring like, on the other hey, group. Hey, brother got to get off right now because it's like 942. <laughs> yeah. <So. laughs> That's my guy. Time guy. Thank you Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. And uh, this was great. A lot of fun. I'd love to come back. Yeah, absolutely. In the area. Chris, I would love to have doing? you back on the air. What are you doing over here? Well, I thought I thought you were gonna look in this direction. I was gonna be like, thank you so much. We just oh, kind of thank you. Here, oh, so you're kind of pretending to scratch the back. Oh, of the you're air. giving me a high five. That's what I was doing. Oh, okay, yeah. I didn't see that. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. I didn't see that. I'm looking at those uh, chips oh. right there, and they look yeah. good. pretty good. So we got the band. Is the band? Yeah. In yeah. Do you want to meet the band? Yeah. Let's I'm bring the band the, over. I'm gonna meet the band. Are you guys gonna? Take yeah. A come break? on over. This is Madeline Hanson. Are you guys just getting started right away? Madeline Hanson. Come on up. This is Chris Barnes. You can just sit on his lap. And, uh, All right, you guys ready good? to take over? Sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you so and much, Andy, Chris Barnes. Thank you. Thanks for having me, and I love to see you guys again. Thanks a lot. Where?
Isn't there an outlet over there? And uh, right now we'll be bringing on uh, Madeline Hanson, Hanson, Madeline Hanson, <laughs> Madeline Hanson, and Andrew. Is it home? Yeah. I'm great at this. So uh, why don't we put you guys there, and then uh, Steve, you got a chair for them as well. Right. Is there an outlet open up there? No, there's not an outlet. Sorry, Jason. I know that's pressing right now. Yeah. Uh, Let's get but it done. Oh, yeah. Uh, Every show that we have, we've pretty much played the Blue Ribbon Band on the show, and everybody seems to be really uh, responsive to their music, to their uh, to their style, and they really speak to the style of this show, too. So I'm a big fan of their music. They, they're big supporters of the show and of my comedy, so I want to welcome to the show right now members of the Blue Ribbon Band, Madeline Hansen and Andrew Holmes. Say hi. Hello. You've got to move that microphone close to you. Okay. And I'm going to crank you all the way up. Cool deal. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hi. Yeah, Chris Byron's in the house uh, here talking to us about uh, porno. Um, so we found some good ones when oh, we did were browsing. You? Uh, did you? Mm -hmm. Danish Sex Slaves 3. <laughs> yeah, 3. Yeah. It's nice to we finally have, have mm -hmm. the band that we play all the time on the show. It's nice yeah. to be here. Thanks oh, for having yeah. us. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, you, you guys have a good following of fans and you've got a really uh, a sound that really appeals to Milwaukee I think yeah. do you guys feel that you guys are in your sweet spot in terms of you know you're delivering to Milwaukee what they want to hear yeah sometimes we had a gig on Friday and when we baby boomers love us. dish girl dish <laughs> so we had a gig on Friday where it was um it was kind of a class reunion with, uh, it was everyone's 50th birthday party. Oh, thank you. And uh, <laughs> it was probably our craziest gig we've ever had. Oh, yeah. oh really? Yeah. It was out of control. And we played from like 8 to midnight. Usually we play from like 10 Tops to Tops coming off, bottoms yeah. coming yeah. half down. Really <laughs> you know how it goes. A lot of hair. Oh, it was, <laughs> a lot of hair. <laughs> <laughs> it was insane. They just, they they love them. I mean, everybody, most people know all of our songs. We play older stuff. Yeah. Um, but they just went crazy. So it was probably our wildest gig we've ever had. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you guys say that you play like older stuff, I, I think of, you know, the rock standards that you guys kind of play, yes. but you also, you know, play some newer tunes. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have songs that you write, uh, produce, and record yourselves, which is really impressive mm -hmm. as well, um, that we play on the show because we can't play copyrighted yeah, material. Yeah. It's a big deal, <laughs> FCC. If you're listening, I'm really sorry that Chris Barnes said shit earlier, <laughs> and we are not going to let that happen again. Yeah, we wanted to make sure we can't swear. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. No swearing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Unless it's on a Bible. But, okay. you know, the, the song that you guys have, I know that uh, Madeline, your dad, is in a, in a rock and roll band. Yes, um, he is. They are called... Uh, the Grateful Dead, and uh, they're really great. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, but you, you were kind of brought up with it, that kind of sound. Do you think that you both kind of take from that era, that sort of 1970s garage uh, rock kind of sound? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. And so you're, how are you, how are you influenced? You know, growing up. I mean, I, I've. I've been listening to like Frank Sinatra since I was three because my da my grandpa and my dad listened to to old stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, our and grandma still listens to that. You know, it just kind of evolved from that. And, you know, our parents listen to that good music mm -hmm. too. So when mm -hmm. I was six, I got a record player for my birthday. My dad came in, gave me a stack of Beatles records, and said, "Here you go." And that was kind of it. For these me. are all. These are all you're gonna need. <laughs> yeah. Here's some acid. Yeah. Uh, I got real good and high when I was six. And had a nice. The rest day. is history, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So they set us off on a good track. So. Yeah, I mean it's fun music to listen to when you're at a show. Yeah. You know, if you go to a show, I grew up a total like punk kid, emo kid, and it's not always the most fun. <laughs> like, like standing there, arm, kind of sad. arms folded, <laughs> yeah. uh, like hoodie up, you know, yeah. like not the most this fun. This music is good. Mm. But your shows are completely the opposite. Yeah. People are, are out there dancing, having fun. <laughs> Do you feel that uh, that's what you're looking for in most shows is, is to see people oh, yeah. really reacting? Yeah, that's when we have the best time is when everyone's singing along and dancing. That's what makes us have oh, the yeah. best time. So we're like, okay, we need to do something fun. Let's play rock and roll right yeah. now or let's do what oh, yeah, I right say. On. We feed off the crowd yeah. for sure. We change it up. And yeah. Make well, sure. What was the catalyst for you guys actually getting, I, I assume you played music 
uh, throughout your lives. What was the catalyst for joining, forming this band? Joining forces. You joining almost forces. said joining forces, you nerd. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> joining forces with rock. Yeah. We are cousins. Yes, we so are. we have been singing together our whole yeah. lives, I guess yeah. I would say. I think say. we started at our aunt's wedding. Yeah, that was probably our first gig. We won't tell you what we sang because it's kind were of you paid or you just Oh, you have to say it now, yeah. Andrew. You do have what to say we it. Sing? We sang the prayer. The, the prayer. Uh, Charlotte Church, Josh Groban song. Oh, my God. That's beautiful, you guys. Um, Tear in my eye right yeah. now. You Tear would my cry. Eye. You would I would have cried. <laughs> I'm not afraid to go there. No, you know? probably wet yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I've already done <laughs> Everyone else in our band, minus the drummer, we went to high school with. So oh, yeah. we oh, okay. were in the musicals and choir yeah. together. Um, the drummer Waukesha, is, represent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Waukesha South. Good. And um, the drummer is our guitar player's dad. So. Yeah, he's, also okay. my, he's also my boss. Too. Yes. Okay. And wow, Andrew's neighbor growing up. Yep. So we've known everyone forever. So you have like instant chemistry when yes. you step on stage. Yes. I, think I think that's fantastic. Bound to happen. Yeah, it yeah. was kind of bound to happen. That's awesome. So we all are really, really good friends. And yeah. Okay, yeah, great, so. you know when I go out and see you guys, you can really tell that you do have fun on stage, and you're really fun to go see. Mostly because I'm hammered, uh, but <laughs> Us like too usually. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, I also like to see the new things. That you, it's kind of like going to see a comic when you want to see the the hits, and you also want to see okay, what's new this time around? What are they doing that's different? I know Andrew, you bring a lot of things like different effects to the to the table with um, things that you're doing, and also do you do you play any instruments as well? I play guitar. I mean, I, acoustic guitar, but I don't. I don't really do that anymore because I do. That was more for like, kind of ballady stuff. It's but, acoustic you know, stuff. I Ballad found my stuff. grunge. Found my <laughs> grunge so. You put on a flannel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's yeah. watch singles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Madeline, you're. You, you know, being on stage, it seems to come natural to both of you. Being in front of people, I guess as comics, like that's the thing that we can kind of relate to. Is like. Wanting to get on stage and have instant validation for yeah. whatever it is you're doing. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Such a strange <laughs> thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so horrifying and beautiful. Yeah. Like, you just have to do it all the time. It you're getting kind of nervous, so it's like, why? We, why go, we? Yeah. we go on stage all the yeah. time. Because you're not You get used sure. to kind of yeah. feeling yeah. vulnerable, though, right. you know, being yeah. on stage. I know that, you know, I either cross, I, <laughs> like, I like to feel nervous before I'm going on, at least yeah. a little bit nervous, yeah. Or, yeah. or I know that I won't be bringing it as yes. hard. And uh, you're probably a little bit the same way. Well, that but I also see you write your set list and laugh at the jokes <laughs> that you're about to tell, <laughs> which is total bull crap. Hey, you're I knew I'm going to do you're this being, one. You're being very dramatic. Um, but I it's am. true, like, if I go to an open mic or something and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> um, no, what will happen is I'll write my set list out and I'll think of something I haven't said in a while and I'll be like, ah. um, but I, if I, I, I right, right, yeah, real proud. <laughs> Mostly because I feel like it's not going to get a, a reaction other than, oh. and that so, fills me with joy. But when I go and I'm. If I go on stage, yeah, if I'm not nervous, like in a mic or something, I won't put any effort into it whatsoever. Oh, because yeah. Because there's no adrenaline to go into mm -hmm. it with. And you're just like, oh, here's these people. How hey. do you guys feel when you go on stage? Are I you, hate you, by the way. Yeah, are you, I feel the same. Yeah, yeah, we, have, we do. I mean, Malin needs to drink before she goes on stage. That's sure. not sure. Yes, it is. <laughs> Don't I just lie. typically do. I do <laughs> she just wants to feel it. loose, you know? I prefer Loosey goosey. Yeah. I like feeling nervous. I mean, it's yeah. Like, that adrenaline, mm -hmm. you know, it gets you going. It's a, you get addicted to it. It feels good. Yeah, I think I think we do. I yeah. always feel nervous before a gig. Yeah, like on Saturday, yeah. I didn't really feel that nervous. Oh, yeah. That was kind of. But the first energy. moment somebody claps or goes, "Yay!" Oh, it's yeah. all you're all in. Oh, I'm all worth in. something. They like me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> My self-esteem is back, yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you didn't feel nervous, it would kind of be like, it'd be like work. Yeah. yeah. You know, it'd right. be like real work, yeah. you know? Yeah, exactly. Which is no good. Yeah. Right? And we've real work sucks. Yeah. Loopholes. We're in loopholes. We've yeah. played for some pretty interesting crowds, too. Oh, yeah. 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 Tell us tell us about a crazy crowd that you oh, played for. tell them about the biker bar. <laughs> oh, Jesus It always starts with a biker bar. Oh, jeez. It was like, a, what was that place called? It was called... Let's not say it, because oh, yeah. we would like to oh, be invited back there. Yeah. Also, okay. let's not burn our bridges here. It's called the Peach Pit. It was <laughs> way kind of up north, not too far. No. Um, we'll say Sheboygan area. Just because it's fun to say Sheboygan. <laughs> sure. We like to talk about <laughs> Sheboygan. Sheboygan. Um, so you tell it. No, go ahead. All right, so we drove all the way up there. Okay, but you do impressions the whole time. <laughs> yeah, Andrew's real funny. So anyways, <laughs> we went up there, and um, I thought we were playing inside, and it was kind of chilly that night, so mm -hmm. I was wearing kind of like a like a summer dress. It was raining, too. It got cold. It was like 
50 to 50 degrees. So I was wearing like a short sleeve dress to my knees and um, we got there and we just got the worst looks. Like, and I'm t- telling you, this was a biker bar. Yeah, like the true everyone was in chaps, leather. Everyone was looking at us like, we're gonna beat the, the hell out of yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Everyone, and, and like t- hard ass women too. Like, oh yeah. Remember like, the one, tell them about old icy blue eyes. Oh my God, hazy blue <laughs> eyes. Hazy blue eyes. She had the bluest <laughs> eyes ever. Like she didn't even wear, need to oh, wear. She like, sounds beautiful. Makeup. It was like they were see through. Like, yeah, her eyes just like leaked onto her face. It's it just called just... vampires. Yeah. Was it Alec Baldwin? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> it it could have been. Eyes. Yeah. Uh, no, but she was. Uh, she was just like, like once she got eyes on you, you were just like. <sighs> yeah. You felt like you were being raped a lot. <laughs> yeah, and she was <laughs> hammered. Yes, I'm familiar. And not in the good way. <laughs> yes, we, so we, had, we had to play outside, so I was freezing, um, and we had to play outside, and this woman would like. She was kind of like sauntering around. Yeah. She was dance, like yeah, dance yeah, skulking. Do, oh, yeah. You know, like the Summerfest mom oh, dance. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, I'm familiar. I was doing it today. Yeah. So she was doing that, but kind of like watching us, and she'd point to somebody, and she'd go, you. And then she'd like dance she'd at you. She'd tell you what to do, yeah. Sure. But then like she called me and Andrew out on like our faults right away, and she'd go, she, Andrew. Yeah, we were. We took a break. Sharp. That was sharp. Yeah. <laughs> She's like a high school music yeah. teacher. Yeah, yeah. Total bit. Yeah. She was so mean to us. She goes, "You're good, but you don't move around enough." Yeah. And I was just like, "I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I know that I don't." And she was just awful. And I had I had my fake glasses on. Yeah. I wear Andrew fake glasses. Andrew sometimes wears fake glasses. Oh, are you and in we, the NBA finals? <laughs> yeah. We as a band yeah. make fun of him for it all the time, but sure. we're allowed. I don't know to do anyone that. that doesn't make fun of it. I just just roll with it, you know. It's yeah. what I do. It's, yeah. me. it's the so, pains of being stylish, guys. Right. Don't I know it? Right. So Art she, is hard. <laughs> Art <laughs> is hard. <laughs> she looks at me and she goes, "I bet you those Ian aren't even real." And you're like, yeah. "They're not." I was like, "God bless it." Yeah. <laughs> like, how she does just, she know? She was just like the, she was the devil. I yeah. swear, we ran. And then into it was the just like one after another. People Mrs. Like Applegate. That. But yeah. they, but they also like really liked our music. Oh, yeah. So we They're were just like, what that. kind of vibe are we getting here? It was know. so strange. It was, it was a rapey vibe. <laughs> yeah. It was. It was strange. We didn't know if we were gonna make it out alive, but we yeah. did. But we oh, did. sort of like your show in Slinger, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Slinger. Yeah. Slinger. Yeah. But you gotta do. You gotta do shows. Like so. I mean, the the goal is to get up there and do as much as you can. You just. Did you get paid for that? Yes, we did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're full blown rock and rollers. For you. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Yeah, we, yeah uh, as we comics, were, we're like, <laughs> wait a minute, it was horrible. Yeah, okay, well, like, uh, did you get free food? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got free food? Did you get a drink? That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Uh, did you get a free Pabst. <laughs> yeah, we usually get free beer. We usually sure, get yeah. Beer. Yeah, well, naming yourselves the Blue Ribbon Band, yeah. not a bad move. Yeah. I would have went with, like, the Johnny Walker Red Band, yeah. but that's that's yeah. me. Yeah. I know, we really should have thought of that. Yeah. 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 Maker's Mark yeah. experience. Yeah. Maker's Mark. Mark experience. That's a good idea. That's awesome. Um, so what's what's really next for the Blue Ribbon Band? I know that you guys are uh, a fixture when it comes to the the uh, locations on like Brady Street. Mm-hmm. Um, you're definitely going to be there uh, down in Bayview. You seem to be popping up more and more at the over and around. <laughs> what is over it called? Around that area. The down and over. Up and under. Down and over. The down and yeah, over. It's yeah. Around. So so you know you've kind of. Move from uh, the the central city to, to the south side? Or are you just trying to pick different parts of the city to really tackle and, and the summer festival scene and all that? Yeah, what, are you, I mean, what are you looking for? We'd love to. I mean, we'd, we play, we'll play anywhere. I mean, yeah. We'll play a funeral if we have to. Yeah. So. Right on. <laughs> we go in Waukesha a lot. We were there this weekend. We were at um, Oconomoc City Beach on Saturday. Oh, I saw those pictures. They were amazing. Yeah. That's me. Yeah, Andrew took some cool those pictures. Those were awesome. Um, nice. But we're at um, Up and Under again on Friday. And there's a cool deal we have going on. So usually you can just get in with a five dollar cover, mm-hmm. but this Friday you can pay ten bucks that gets you in, and all you can drink PBR yep. all night long. All night. Wow. Okay. If you until you're dead. Yeah. Until wow. you die. You can prove that. This Friday. Which will happen. This Friday. <laughs> right on. So if you're interested, you can contact me, Andrew, or anyone else in the band. Uh, for a wristband. You so gotta, you got to buy the wristband before 11. Yes. Okay. Yes, you have to get in before 11 or the wristband is void. But yeah. Okay. If you're listening you to the show, um, you know, later, uh, you can, and you're just listening to it on any of our Facebook, uh, we'll put you in touch with Andrew or uh, Madeline. Uh, I am happen to be 
very good friends with yeah. Madeline <laughs> and quite good friends with Andrew. Yeah. He has seen me eat a moth. <laughs> and so I'll put you in touch with them should you reach out to myself on Facebook and to the uh, Killer Radio Show on Facebook as well. We'll get you to the right spot. So, But that sounds like a really good time yeah. on Friday. Okay, is yeah. it, are you guys just, it's you guys and all, straight through the night? Yep, yeah, just All us. through the night? Just all through, through the, the night. Band. Right on. Where is this again? Up and under. Okay. okay. On Brady Street. Okay. Yeah. Milwaukee. Yes. We can go check it out. You want to go? Yeah. Might be a good thing, Killer Radio Show night out. We like to go do things together. Oh, please come. Yeah. After Sherman yeah. Burke. Yeah, after Sherman Berg, maybe we'll do that. It's a late night show, so that's great. Yeah, we'll probably go on around ten. We play till bar times. So. Yeah. How do you keep yourself up for those late night oh, shows? Yes. Cocaine? Is it yeah. cocaine? A lot, Just a lot of it. Speedballing. Mm -hmm. Red Bull. Mix. I don't know. You know, because I have a day <laughs> I just job. Just injected straight into the side I of your pants. I don't know. How do you guys do it? I mean, when you have cocaine. Both... Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, me too. Usually. Yeah. Just the best. Yep. <laughs> I'm high on glory. Yeah, uh, I usually get pretty excited once I'm at a gig, and I you, Oh yeah. Know. Yeah. I would find myself down though with the energy caffeine. transfer between it's yeah. like once you get off of a really good set. It's like, <sighs> the two gigs in a like a Friday Saturday night. Yeah. That's when I'm really exhausted and my I usually use, lose my. Then voice. you just want to get in your PJs. I just yeah. want to crawl right into bed. Mm. I maybe wish pull a out a good book. Of like a real Unhealth. housewife. Watch <laughs> Game Game of Thrones or something. You just yeah you just want to get in yeah. there and mm -hmm. just have a huge jerk session. <laughs> Wait, I, no, I, I mean, yeah. read a book. Read a book? Right. Read Shake a book. Weight. Shake weight. Read a book. Right. Anyways. Um, well, okay. tell people where they can find you on Facebook and the other places. Blue Ribbon Band on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, that's about it. That's the best place to yeah. reach us. Oh, no, we're on Twitter, but we really don't use it. We don't tweet. <laughs> we don't tweet our twat. No. no. Uh, Facebook is the best place to find out about our gigs and to um, get those wristbands if you are interested. Yeah. Ten bucks. Get those wristbands. Get those wristbands. You're going to pay five bucks to get in anyway. Yeah. So you might as well it pays for itself real quick. For beer for the night. Yes. Pay $10 and poison yourself. Yeah. There you go. So come see us Friday at the Up and Under. Yeah. Yeah, right on. Uh, I'm going to pull up a song to play if I can cool. get it worked out. Otherwise, I might not be able to do that. Uh, let me see what I can find for you guys. Is Voodoo Woman? That's you guys, right? That's not an original. That's okay. Don't say that. Okay. That is an original <laughs> by... Uh, do you guys realize that when you search Blue Ribbon Band on, um, on Google? YouTube, uh, Rage Against the Machine, Bullet in Your Head guitar cover awesome. comes up? No. Is that you guys? Yeah, that's Yes, totally that us. is also us. Wow, mm -hmm. I feel like you need to play that. That's interesting. <laughs> no, I feel like we don't. <laughs> Shut off nope, doesn't shut off. Shut off, shuts off when we tell it to. Oh, okay. It's actually on through 11. I'm sorry to the next people that are here. We're going over it, but um, I'm going to end it on this song, which is a cover, but if we do comedy over it, it's technically a comedy. There you go. Okay. Cool. So, okay, this is the Blue Ribbon Band singing rock and roll by Led Zeppelin, but also I'm going to do some comedy over it. Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> oh, what's this song? Oh my God, it's Led Zeppelin. I love this song. This is my impression of somebody hearing uh, Blue Ribbon Band for the first time who doesn't go out very much. Oh, they sound a lot like Led Zeppelin. Oh, they're pretty good. Oh, these guys, oh they really can do it. They're really rocking. <laughs> oh, it's been a long time. It's pretty lonely. Oh, it's very lonely, too. Okay. <laughs> Killer Radio Show, RiverWestRadio.com. <laughs> the vocal 